What's up? For some reason, every now and then, it just decides, you know, you don't get a microphone. You don't get a microphone. And I don't appreciate that, quite frankly, because I <laughs> think that's an important element of the stream. Hello, and welcome to uh, me playing Blackwell Unbound. You've never heard of this game before. Well, I'll tell you about it. It's, there's, it's part of a series. It's the second in a series, but it's a prequel, so we're, like, not missing anything about a family whose women can see ghosts and they use that ability to team up hello to team up with this fun like 40s gangster detective guy he's fun and then solve murders and i think help ghost crossover i can't remember i played the first one not on stream i just played it and i was like these are good and then i just let them sit for several years i had the entire collection it was on sale and i was like well that looks fun so now i have the entire collection uh, and just like any other Steam game, you just kind of let it fester. You let it sort of, you know, fester. So let's hop to it. Um, oh yeah, like I forgot how to do the thing. Ooh. Oh, she glitched. Is she okay? Is she okay? She sounds okay. She sounds loud, in fact. Let me know how the volume is, if it's too loud or whatever. Or too quiet. Or too good. Or too neutral. I don't know what I'm talking about. In any case... Laura, I can see you lurking. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't call out a lurker, but I know Laura in real life, so I wanted to call you out. I see you there. Why don't you come to chat and show off your good username? <laughs> Volume's perfect. Yay! Every single time I change the volume because I'm never happy with how it sounds in the VOD. And it makes me sad. Yeah! Come out and play, Laura. Come out and play. <laughs> anyway, this is the prequel. So this is about the main character of Blackwell Legacy's aunt who can also uh, see ghosts. They can all see ghosts. And it's specifically this one who's a fun dude. I think. I can't remember. It's been years. In any case, let's go. In-game instructions? I mean, it wouldn't hurt, right? There you are! I'm specifically going to be boring because you told me to be funny. In addition to on-screen instructions, you can view the instructions by clicking the help button. We used a username generator at work. Ooh! Infinity. I've been told it's beautiful. But I don't think it's anything special. Okay, Queen. But when you live like me, most things become quite ordinary. Life, death, tormented souls, it's all the same to me. Sometimes I wonder if anything will ever surprise me again. Okay. That's... Sometimes I wonder if I even care. Okay. If you say so, Queen. Watch it, eyes, games. Thank you for the good games. I don't know why it's like. That's the way it looks on my screen, too. It's like a tinier square. Oh, we gotta stop playing. I'm getting updates from Pokemon Go. Skitty's in the spotlight for the next hour. Cancel the stream, everyone. I guess she is a nihilistic medium. I don't know what her, like, day job is. And stay out. Okay. Aw, oh, hey, you know I don't like that. There he is. What's your beef, anyway? I am not talking to you. Oh, promises, promises. So what's next on the list? What's next? The balcony. Why, are you gonna throw yourself over and join me? No, I'm having a cigarette. Great. You want a cigarette. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever the hell you like. Okay, I'm assuming I can Just play. One. Then I can get on with this. Left click anywhere on the screen to walk there. She's already like a lot more nihilistic than her future niece who was in the first game. I can left click somewhere to go there. Not moving from this spot until oh, I Oh, okay, well then why did it give me the walking tutorial? Lauren isn't going anywhere right now. Maybe we'll have better luck with Joey. Press the tab key, okay. 
Good. We're controlling Joey. You can switch characters pressing J or L. Walk him over to Lauren. Okay. Well, what if I want to interact with Boots? What's the point of that? I can't wear the things. Well, you don't have legs, Joey. I can't wear the thing. You can't do anything, jo Rainy Day Jar. Can't do anything with that. Aww. Don't know what I could do with it. Boy, if I could touch it, that would sure be great. He's like giving me shade for trying to if get I'd him to do stuff. If I'd known I could be photographed, I would have shown my good side. I can't touch it. I know you can't touch it. I'm asking you to tell me about it. You made it into a photo as a ghost, you goober. I can't turn okay, on the radio. Okay, he's mad at me. Okay, shut up. Take a picture. I'll let her handle the picture taken. Have a cigarette. I can't we'll touch it. Like, back and around. Boo! Oh look, I scared it to death. Ha, Wait, ha, no, ha, hold ha, on. Ha. It was already like that. Shut up. Oh my gosh, he's so funny. That looks profoundly useless. What looks useless? A candle in a bottle? What is a dictaphone? A phone specifically for what do you want me to do scare it yeah actually it worked on the plant no i'm not doing that again the kid can find her own damn loose change that's funny whatever he just said is very funny all right hey lauren Are we gonna talk or just kind of vibe hey what um I don't know what he, she's mad about. I don't want to do a roundabout insult because that's kind of Joey's MO and when I'm in charge I feel like I want things to be different. I want things to be happier. So maybe let's just ask a direct question. Why the heck are you so mad? You honestly don't know. I have no idea. Typical. If you don't know, I'm sure as hell not going to tell you. Ooh. He should have thought about not being able to function before becoming a ghost. So true. Okay, well, I don't want to insult her. I have to- we have to put up with each other. She's the only person who can see me. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Um... Exactly. Joey! You done moping? Or do you want to grind your teeth some more? Christ, Joey. Can't you just leave it for one minute? Take another drag of that cigarette, darling. You get real ugly when you stop smoking. Oh? Is that right? Well... Ugly, am I? Take it easy, dear. It was just a little joke. A joke, yeah. I'm a riot. Like today, when those pipes burst. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is, is that what's got you in such a guff? What happened? I got soaked, and you just laughed. Got my iced coffee to survive the stream. So, I guess I'll give in? All right, I'll try and hold it in next time. It was cold and wet and slimy. It wasn't funny. You should have seen the look on your face. The way you jumped up and down and ran in circles, squealing. That is <sighs> kind of funny. Still wasn't funny. If you say so. I have water too. I have water too. And it's not- Okay, I'm finished. Oh. Let's get on with this. There's a few things we haven't checked, right? Yes, I've got the list right here. Kind of well, in media res. Okay. Every other case today has been a false alarm. Maybe this will be an easy night. Looking at objects, simply right click them. Look at Lauren. I mean, switch to Lauren and look at her case list. Okay. Am I Lauren? Yes, I am. Yeah, no, I have water and I have iced coffee, and it's not really iced coffee anymore. Because I got it like an hour ago, so it's more like it's just coffee, really. So don't worry about me. Um, what am I doing? Crimes list? My- my- my crime list? Right-clicking the ash pail? I don't need to clean it. This mm. won't get filled for a long, long time. No, we don't need to clean anything. What do we look like? A maid? No. Do I need to... That's kind of fun. I actually kind of wasn't anticipating this type of controls. I can't remember what the first game had. But it's kind of interesting, because it- Like, I don't expect this scene to have 3D space. And it does. Like, she can go back into the kitchen. Cool. Where is your, uh, crimes- I've already got a pack. I forgot what it's me until the end do. of the day. We 
we've already looked through this paper. We don't need any more leads. Let's talk, shall we? What's the deal? Say goodbye. I have no idea where we're supposed to go. You're asking me? You're the one carrying the list. I'm carrying it? Why don't you it? take a closer look at it? It's it on my refresh person? refresh your memory. Okay, bye Joey. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Joey's the maid, yeah. I'm not ready for her now. It's. She said it's on... He said I have it. Do I have an inventory or something? Now I'm Joey. That's what that does. Oh, J and L for Joey and Lauren. Oh my god, that's cute. Uh, I'm Lauren. How do I... Where is it? I don't have this? I guess oh. I could take this along. Oh, no. Okay. Her crimes, her case list. Looks like something is interfering with the signal again. I wonder who that could be. Move away a bit, will you, Joey? What? You want to watch TV now? Just for a minute. You can relax later, sweetheart. Don't Let's finish up these cases first. Yeah, How? You're right. I can't know where my case list is. Do I need to. Okay, that just makes me go back there. I do not remember what it told me to do. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's up here! That's kind of fun. Here. Look at. Look I don't at... think he'd want that. Maybe he would. Oh, okay. Ugh. Every one of these leads has been a dead end. Just two more to go, and we can call it a night. Okay, strange music heard on the Roosevelt Island promenade. This one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the promenade late at night. Promenade, I'm Nobody so sorry. knows where it comes from. Alright, well, let's go! A development corporation has halted construction after a series of accidents. Probably nothing, but worth checking out. Yeah, Joey is really condescending. I mean, if I kind of give him a little bit of a pass because he is a ghost stuck in the real world and can't interact with anything or talk to anybody except for one person who's who doesn't want to talk to him. So it's got to be rough being Joey, but yeah, he is kind of a dick. He's also like a 40s detective, so he's going to say things like sweetheart and blah, blah, blah that are like would rub me the wrong way. But um, I don't know how Lauren feels about it. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Come on, go faster, Joey. Uh, let's do the first one first, because I think that's fun. I hope it's a bunch of, like, a band, mm. like a quirk. Looks like another bus, Joey. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe or not. Or maybe not. Wait, you hear that? I think so. Oh, yeah. Let's get closer. Oh, I hear it. Hey, oh my god, that's cool. Oh my god, hit it, King. Looks like our evening might not be a total wash after all. My notebook's been updated. Uh, Lauren, I've just received uh, uh, notes. Only Lauren can use the notebook. Oh, notes. The spirit of a saxophone player is haunting the Roosevelt Island promenade. Ghost on the... Okay. Hey, man. Oh, let's look at the skyline. I don't think so. Okay, maybe we won't look at the skyline. Damn. Um, compliment his music. Nice tune. You write it yourself? Hey, mister. I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? Okay, I feel like there's an element to, like, not offending the ghost to this. And I thought complimenting his music would be the thing, because that's obviously important to him, but it was not. Both of these sound like they're mean. What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. Hey, mister? You? I'm talking to you. Hello? He's not hearing you, kid. Ugh, mm. forget okay, it. that's what I thought might have been happening. I didn't think he was ignoring us. I don't think so. So I need to, like, Ugh, forget it. Investigate, I guess? Joey, what do Joey, you think? Come here. What's the deal? What do you think of him? Thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. No, no I shit. doubt we'll get anything useful from him. Yeah, she can talk to all ghosts, so it's not that he can't hear her. She, 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 he's like, there's something else like in the way. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Wait, I had Joey. more. Yeah, doll. This is one of those don't know their dead spirits, huh? Mm. Yeah, another dead guy that's brain dead. We have to convince him that he's dead. 
He won't move on otherwise. Okay, we have to convince him that he's dead, That's which means we probably need yeah, to we'll like, find his killer, his reason for dying. Or... We could also, I feel like the two cases that we have right now might be, what does that do? What does that do? This is a little recording ah. device. It's called a dictaphone. I've been using it to record my dreams. Oh, fun. Um, but th since we have two cases, they might be connected, or we might need to investigate one in order to investigate the other. Like, there might be clues over there, that sort of thing. I do want to hear about her testing, dreams. Testing, testing. Hello? Does my voice really sound like that? <clears throat> Gotta cut back on the cigarette. It's the 40s. Anyway, You're I've been having some extreme they were good dreams for you lately, back then. but I don't remember any of them. I get the strangest feeling that they're important, but I can't put my finger on why. I'm keeping this recorder next to my pillow so I can record what I remember as soon as I wake up. First entry, February 21st, is it? God, my head. I dreamed tonight. It's already fading away. I saw my mother. She was calling out to me and waving. She was smiling, and her face was bright. So bright. I see a child, seven or eight years old. She's surrounded by other children, but she's all alone. I call out to her, but she doesn't hear. Something is wrong. With me? With her? What are you saying? I see a man in tattered clothes. He looks at me and screams. I look in a mirror and see a huge horned demon. For some reason, I'm not surprised. Okay, queen. Somebody's got issues. I'm on the Brooklyn Bridge staring at the seaport. I'm alone, strangely at peace. The water, it looks so cool and inviting. Suddenly I'm in the water, floating. Um, full disclosure, I looked very briefly through the achievements list, and there is an achievement for listening to all these, so bear with me. I dreamt I was in a strange room. The walls are a deep pink, and there are books and papers everywhere. Joey is behind me, trying to get my attention. I ignore him. I feel strangely good about it. I see Jack and Maria. They're far away, but I know it's them. I see his glasses and her bright red hair. I want to join them. I run to catch up. I almost get there, but I, I trip and fall. Maria turns to help me up, but it's not Maria. She's got red hair like Maria, but it's someone else. She says she's sorry. Then I wake up. I'm in a hospital room. There's a Chinese girl lying on the bed. I want to help her, but she doesn't want to be helped. Suddenly, I say a magic word, and her eyes widen with trust. I made a friend, and yet I don't want her friendship. I ran away. That sounds familiar. That sounds like it might have been a case from the first game. I might be making that up, but I remember there being a hospital room and a Chinese character, but I don't remember if they're the same ones. I'm on a fire escape. I'm talking with a man who wants to be my friend. They Suddenly, do. his face turns blue. He, he can't breathe. He dies. It's my fault. I could have stopped it. That's sad. She had. She needs therapy. I'm in a huge house. I see gas lamps and electric lights. I look into a mirror and see an old woman. That's you. She reaches out of the mirror to grab me. That's fine. I take her hand and hold it tight. Then I wake up. That's peace with aging. That's what that is. That's good. The therapist would I'm like I'm on that. a train, speeding away into the night. Next to me is a man. I know nothing about him, yet I trust him. I think I love him. Then he disappears. What did I do wrong? They always do that. I'm trapped. Trapped somewhere bright. I see my mother and a woman I don't recognize. I see Joey far away, calling out for me. We're fighting for our lives, but it's too late. The world goes dark. Ugh. Hate that dream. Ah! Achievement unlocked Dreamcatcher. Thank you for bearing with me. What I want to know, and I don't think it was explored in the first game, is... Joey's obvious. Like, we we go around and we're... Can I exit, please? No? Yes? Go. God damn. And, um, Joey's... We obviously, we, um... We go around trying to, like, solve these murders so we can help the ghost pass over. But Joey just... Why, why doesn't he pass over? Like, I mean, I guess because then we wouldn't be able to do this. But, like... Well... This is it. Is that not the point? Yep. All's quiet so far. I also kind of like how the subtitles in this game show up above the character sides. It's very interesting to me. I don't think so. Just say, just like, tell me what you think. The gate is locked. 
I can't get through. He can. Hey. Joseph. All right, I'm going in to check it out. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, sure. Let me know what you find. Hello? Anyone here? Oh. Ah. Well, what do you see? Is it clean? I'm afraid not. Well, hurry up then. I feel stupid pressed up against this wall. My notebook was updated, but I can't look at it unless I'm Lauren. Uh, you have two clues in your notebook. Yay, it's one of these! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'm just now having the realization that, like, mystery games where you've got, like, the clues and you gotta go, like, click! <laughs> that's, that's my shit right there. You just, like, connect the dots. It's all connected. Then click on the other. Lauren will attempt to blah 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 blah. They have no right. No, no right. right. I bet this construction... I, I bet this construction site used to be my her home. Ha yeah, it used to be your house. That's what I'm, that's what my guess is. We're gonna come back to you, sweetheart. You just like you ha you wait. Oh, it's a pretty lady poster. What am I supposed to do with it? Look at it. You that looks profoundly useless. <laughs> He's immune. Not much I can do with that. Just look at it. Why are you like incapable of seeing? I don't know what I could do with it. Oh, there's footprints, muddy footprints. Even if I wanted to stick, which I don't. It would be too dark to see anything. Why is he so rude? Don't you give off Just a little bit? Just to keep up appearances, I think I'll use the door. I can't take the sign. I don't understand it why- It says Seagram Realty. Oh. I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. One of them, one click does- I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. Makes him want to pick it up and the other one makes him read it. Okay. Hmm. The name under the picture is Farrah Fawcett. I wonder if she likes dead guys. I knew he'd have something stupid to say about it. He just needed to... Just a bunch of drawers. He just needed a, uh... Just a fan. Kick in the pants. Cheap material. I want nothing to do with it. Okay. I mean, it's not like you can... That's the way out of here. We'll go. It's not like he can, like, weigh in on what material he... His clothes... That thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. They want to fight? I'll give them one. That's the way out of something here. Something tells me she they lost that fight. fight. I'll give them one. Hey, Queenie. What's up? How are you feeling? You good? You're purple in The Sims, that would mean you're dazed. Hi, Queen. Hey there. Huh? Could someone be there? I am, yes. Of course not. No. No one would be so rude as to enter without knocking. Alright, we gotta pretend to knock. Just, just knock. Where's the play along greeting? Hey, lady. I'm talking to you. No, the door is closed. Pretend to knock. Nobody is there. Only way in is if I open the door. J knock, knock, knock. And to do that, he'd have to knock. Humor her, yeah. Um, knock, knock. What? <sighs> Nobody is there. The door is still closed and bolted. Okay, he's on the outside. Um, knock, knock. Okay. What? <sighs> yeah, I like Nobody the subtitles. The door. I said, hey there. No, no. Nobody there. Door is locked and barred. Nobody could get in. Just look at me, why don't you? I know you can see me. No. Visitors must knock. Maybe if we get Lauren to or knock. Ring the bell. Or ring That's the bell. That's the way it's done. Okay. Um. Okay. The what? knock knock just knock knock. The door is still okay. <sighs> I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. Can I like? No, I can't. Okay, let's. They have no right. I know. I am. No it's really right. upsetting that they tore down your house and maybe also killed you in the process. Uh, hey, Lauren, can you like? Hello out there, Joey. What are you doing in there? Ask about myself. Does this tie make me look miss fat? Me? Yeah, sure. Like I miss toe fungus. How's it going on the outside? Oh, it's a thrill a minute out here, like a day at the circus. I need you to do something. What? Hop on one leg, do a little dance, spin around in a circle. Can I ask her to do all of them? Hop on one leg. What? Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. Okay. What did that accomplish? <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. I hate you so much. <laughs> okay, but if you were a ghost... Hello, Wouldn't there. you? you Joey? Know, just a humor or something? What are you doing in there? 
That's I help. need you to do something. Hmm. It better be good. I'm doing all of them. Like do I have a little to. Dance. I don't think so. Aw, oh, come on. For me. Forget it. Just they do your little fight. dancey dance. I'll give you one. Lauren. Do your little Hello, dancey dance. Dance. Joey. What are you doing in there? Yep, yep, yep. I need help. Do a I little dancey dance. Home. It better be. Spin around in a circle. I don't think so. Aw, oh, come on. Okay, she won't. Dance. She won't do it. Okay. Hello. Joey, I need you to knock. You I need. Hmm. It better be good. Knock on the gate door. Knock on the door. Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. A knock. Oh my! A visitor. Uh, just a minute. Is my hair okay? It'll have to do. Hello. Hey, Queenie. Hello, Miss. Hello. Can I help you? I'm Joey Malone, Miss. Well, Mr. Malone, to what do I owe the pleasure? I like how like practiced her speech is. She really. <laughs> Not in a silly, goofy mood. Yeah, she wasn't. <laughs> What's your name? Excuse me? Your name? My name is on the door. If you don't know who I am, then why are She has a point, her? except for the part that she's... I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have pressed the issue. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? I'm Joey Malone. Like, I literally... Census taker, landlord, gas man, a neighbor. Why does gas man give me she died in a fire vibes? I mean, it's just gas man, but like, for some reason I'm like, ooh, she must have died in a fire. I'm the census taker. That would explain why I don't know your name. I'm with the Census Bureau, and I have to ask you a couple of questions. Where's your clipboard? Right here. Excuse me? I thought all census takers needed a clipboard. Ah, uh, no. Not anymore. Cutbacks. Cut <laughs> You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. Somebody killed her for her property. That is so upsetting. There's no- there's- They're gonna get rid of me, will they? That's upsetting. That's actually- did she leave the gas on? Oh, I should I should get knock again. I should be the I should pretend to be the gas man. Hey girly. Joey, what are you doing? Ask I need hmm. knock again. Yep, 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 yep. Knock, please. I need you to knock. Sir. I'll be the gas man this time. Another visitor. Yep. It's not me. It's uh, No, again. it's not. I'd like to ask- Look, I'm not the- Who are you? The gas man. I'm the gas man. I'm with the gas company. I was sent to check your apartment for leaks. Didn't you come this morning? Uh... <gasps> yes, you did. You found nothing and you charged me a fortune. That must have been someone else. You're not fooling me. You're one of them. One of- Somebody- A gas man came to her apartment them? this morning. Probably the morning before, of her death. I'm not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. Somebody visited. She. To get rid of me, will they? they must have like had the gas man come in and they do something to her gas and no burn her house right. down or poison her. That's got to be what happened. Because if she if she saw a gas man this morning, this meaning like the morning of her death, like that's got to be what happened. I'd like to see them try. So, one more time, with feeling. Hello, I, I'm gonna try ask what for help, in there? and if that doesn't work, I'm going to assume all these lines of questioning I need you. Uh, yeah, in the same be. way. I need you to start. It's me again, hi. My car broke down. My, I'm popular today. She said the same thing oh, you said. You again. I'm a bit lost. Can you tell me where I am? Sorry. I'm not sure what you mean. Are you, Are you looking, looking for a specific, specific apartment, apartment or... Apartment? You mean we're inside a building? Yes. Are you feeling all right, mister? Ooh, these are good. 
So she thinks she's in her apartment. She's probably the last person in the apartment to leave before they tear it, it down. That makes sense. You're not in a building, lady. What are you talking about? We're on the ground. We're outside. You, sir, need glasses. Look at the door. It says D. Clear as day. D. Okay, that's important. You're not in a building, lady. Take a look around. I don't know what you're talking about. We're on the third floor. Third floor, D. Three D. Ah, right. Yeah, I see it. Writing that down. Are you sure you're feeling all right? She's great. She's peachy. She's never been better. I'm writing down 3D, because that's clearly her apartment. And then... Got all this crap from my Nancy Drew games. And I don't want to forget what her apartment is. Lauren probably can write it down, but I'm going to write it down. Um, because I want to. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I'm not... Who are Um... I live next door. You do? Which room? Uh... 4... E... No, you, no, you don't. don't. You're not no. fooling me. One of who? Is I told you all. The only is as a good bot. I'm gonna do the last one too. The last like pretending to be the landlord, because I just I feel like we're getting a little bit more information every time that we ask Hello, her something. Right Joey, what are you doing? I need you. Hmm. It better be. I need you. Sir. My, I'm popular today. Oh, you again. Tell her the truth. I think I'd that's like what I said last time. Questions. Look, yep, I'm yep, cool. idle chit chat. I'm your landlord. Get out of my I building so I can sent sell by it. Your landlord. Oh, you were? Yep, he wanted me to ask you a few questions. Well, for your information, I don't have a landlord. I own this apartment. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I wonder if she I means the building or her individual I am apartment. Not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a good Yeah. Guy. I think she must have owned her particular apartment and she was like the last one to give it up they to whoever wanted no to buy it. Right. No right. Okay, let's cross over to Lauren and catch up. Hey girl. So here's so, is no. it all taken care of? Not yet, dear. Slacker. Let's you and me have a little talk. Yes? It's pretty quiet here. Yeah, I don't like it. I feel so exposed with all those windows staring at me. Anyone could look down and see me talking to you. So what? Worst that could happen is they think you're crazy. Great. I can't get a read on that lady ghost. She either wants to slap me or bake me cookies. You could use a good slap. Yeah, I'd rather have cookies. I mean, I'm assuming you'd rather have cookies. So, All that right, didn't help. let's get on with it. Yeah. I'm gonna switch to Lauren for a second so I can use her notes. Oh, that's not what that does. Cool, I love that for me. Get out of here. Let me out. That woman was old, drunk, and senile. A total waste. And that was a waste of time. Didn't find any ghosts. And I got soaked. I read about a grocer who was complaining about his stock mysteriously disappearing. Turned out to be a bunch of rats. Joey scared them half to death. Most fun I've had all year. How would the rats know to be scared of a ghost? How do they know that's not a normal phenomenon? I'll leave that word. This barrier is blocking traffic. At least we won't be disturbed by passing cars. This barrier- at least- Not many lights on at this hour. Lexington Ave stretches up and down as far as the eye can see. Not many. A thick wooden wall enclosing the construction site. So I wish he'd make himself useful. Hey, Joey. Yeah, doll? What do you think they're building here, Joey? Dunno. Another condo, probably. Yeah. It seems like more and more of those are going up every day. What's the world coming to? Any thoughts on our construction site, Ghost? Her? Well, she's not bad looking in a motherly kind of way. That's not Any thoughts on how to save her? Yeah. Nothing springs to mind. <laughs> Why is he so useless? That's it for now. Yeah, we'll I'm talk supposed more to show later. you. Real quick. Hey, you got a minute? Yes. I haven't talked about this guy from Looks his like perspective. Looks like our night won't be so easy after all. Disappointed? Nah. He lives for this. 
Think you can get the door open? I don't think so. You might have to do this. Uh, solo up. Yeah. Think you can handle it? Oh, I can handle it. Just you watch. Okay. All so, right. Let's get on with it. Wait. Yeah. Um. 53rd and Lex. 53rd and Lex. Apartment 3D. She owns the apartment. That looks like a construct. A barrier block. Just one of the many roads that crisscross this city. Nobody's getting it. Nobody living, anyway. So we've got to prove to her... I'm going... Yeah, yeah. ...that they tore down her apartment, which is going to be really sad. This is filthy. Looks like a foreman's trailer. They have no right. Looks no like a... right. Go on in. I guess he can't pick anything up, so he can't show her anything. Oh, I didn't see this last Let's time. Let's take a look-see. Dear Mr. Foreman, I was hoping you could help me. I've tried speaking to your boss, but he ignores my calls. The agreement, I believe, was two thirty a month for five years. However, since the move, I've only been receiving two twenty five a month. Can you please send someone with the sixty I'm entitled to? I'd come myself, but it's hard for me to get around these days. Miss Harriet Sherman. Oh, now we know her name. Two thirty a month for five years. However, since the move, I've only been receiving two twenty five a month. So maybe they did convince her to move? More and more going up every day. Everyone in the city. Yep. This lady is upset because she's been stiffed five bucks a month. I mean, in the 40s, in the 47th, in the 40s, that's inflation. That's a lot. That she's not too happy with the foreman. Look, we learned her name. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. She's the go- I feel like I have to- This letter was written only a few weeks ago. She must have died. Maybe she did Maybe they didn't kill her with in her apartment. Maybe she. they agreed to her moving out, and she just doesn't remember as it goes. Get rid of me, hey, Lauren, lock, knock again. Because now I know her name. Hello, Ab. Jelly, what are you doing? I need- hmm. I need you to- My. I'm popular today. You sure are, Queen. Come on over. Oh, uh, you again. So, Mrs. Terrett Byron. Can I not? I have something to tell you. Oh, here we go. Oh? There's no delicate way to put this. You're dead. Pardon me? Dead and buried. You're a ghost haunting a wasteland. You're on balance. Tell me what you want before I call the police. Girl, call him. You're not in a building, lady. What are you talking about? We're on the ground. We're outside. You, sir, look at the door. Is I'd like to ask you some- Look, I'm not- Who are I wish I could say I was the, uh... Foreman. I've done all of these. I- You did- Uh- No, you're not fool. One who is- I told you the only is as goodbye. She's trying to get rid of me, will they? Hey, kid. Knock on the Oh, I don't even have to go all the way to Lauren. Another visitor. Oh, uh, you again. So, I've learned her name. He's not... What's not clicking, Joey? What's not clicking? Because I just call her her name, and that probably will do something. I'd like to... Look, I'm not... Who are... The gas man. I was Didn't you come... Uh, came this morning, not found cool. nothing, one of, who one of them, I told you all before. not I leaving, the only way is as the corpse, bop. goodbye. Okay, so, Lauren, oh, I can't switch to her if we're not in the same place. Okay, that's good to know. Right, so- well, How's your new friend? Oh, just dandy. She's unbalanced. Hey, you got it. Yeah, Joe. I can't get a read. She either wants to. Sleep. You could. Okay, that's the same thing we learned a second ago. That doesn't. That's not new. Actually, I don't have you. Actually, I oh. All right. Yeah. So let me switch to her and look at her notes. There's no reason to think these two ghosts. Oh, are related. that's how you can do it. Okay. Okay, well, but I don't have... 
It's my lighter. No shot. A pack of cigarettes. Should last till the end of the day. It's nighttime. This will probably be my last cigarette of the day. Probably. This is a little... I've been using... So... Oh, let me out. Oh, no. Put it away. Where'd her cigarette go? Oh, I guess it's in her hand, but... Joey can't interact with anything. Oh, that's cool. There's, like, multiple ways to switch between the two of them. Joey. Yeah, doll? So here's what I'm confused I don't about. I think I can get through. No, you're too... Just leave it to me. Smoke a cigarette or something. That's don't mind does. if I do. Maybe I need to get through all their chats. Alright. Enough chit. Let's finish. Sounds good. Okay, she's not got any more to say. So what do you think about her? Any thoughts on her? Her? Any thoughts? Nothing. Okay. So now That's that I know how to interact yeah, with we'll stuff, talk more later. let's go back to the promenade. Because I'm a dingus who doesn't know how to interact with stuff. Oh! Oh boy. We've got company. She looks living. She has feet. Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? She can see, see him too. See what, lady? The whole of the world. Never mind. Connections, patterns, pulsing with life everywhere. Oh, great. One of New York's finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will you? Sure, I can see it. The subtle approach. Look, I'm a bit busy right now. I don't have time for this. Fool! <laughs> Liar! Can't you see? Um. Useless. Oh, well, I got rid of her, so it works. Useless! Wow. I know. Only in New York. Only in New York! Queensboro Bridge. It connects Manhattan to Queens. It sure does. That's some view. I can even see the New World Trade Center from here. Can ya? It's his saxophone. Well, no doubt. He's playing a saxophone. Totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. There's nothing else to interact with. Let's go talk to him again. Ugh, forget it. Never mind. How am I supposed to do that? He's a ghost. I'm not. Oh, Joey could probably take it then. Joseph, get over here. I should try getting his attention the polite way first. That makes sense. Let's chat first. City looks so peaceful and quiet tonight. I like hearing you their thoughts. Almost forget that there are a million lost souls out there. I was just a kid when they built that thing. Aww. Has it been 60, 70 years? Aww. Where does the time go? What era is he from? Because he kind of has a 40s vibe. I guess if he's 40s, 50s, 50, 60s, 50, 70s. This takes place in the 70s? Yes, okay. I'm getting confused. That's a pretty nice instrument you got there. Mind if I have a look? Hey, Mac, the name's Joey. Ah, the talkative sort, are we? Well, we'll soon sort that out. Hey, do you feel... restless? Like you've got somewhere to go, but don't know where? It means you're dead, Mac. Can you even hear me? So... Nice night, huh? Hey, you got a cigarette? I could sure use one. Hey, do you know where the Guggenheim Museum is? The wife and I have been trying to find it all day. The wife? Shh. I'm interested. Pay attention, you fat chump. I'm talking. Don't That's insult the fat chump. Quiet, will ya? I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Okay, now try taking his saxophone. It's just his saxophone. Hey, I'm talking, Buster. Hey! You let go! I'm Joey. Pleasure to meet you. I don't care who you are. Nobody interrupts my set. When I said greet him nicely, Joey, Joseph, Josephina, I expected you to greet him nicely. That's um, that's all I'm saying. Is When I see the word nicely, I'm anticipating niceness. That's all I'm saying. I need to ask you a few questions first. Not now, man. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Get off the stage! This is not a stage. Stage? Ow! That's how we treat your kind at Johnny Ivory's. Johnny Ivory's. Write that Johnny down. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Johnny Ivory's. Hello? 
Oh, we're dealing with a real sharp tech here. No book updated. My old book notebook's updated too. Try that again. It's just as saxophone. Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Just what are you doing here? What am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get away from me, man. I'm gonna talk to you, and you're gonna listen. Or so help me, I'll take this sex and shove it right up your... Give me that! Who or what is Johnny Ivory's? What, are you kidding me? You're crazier than you seem. Get out of here! Ow! Hello again. I said let go of that. Why are you haunting this place? Huh? What are you talking about, man? You're crazy! Get off before security gets you. Get out of here! Ah! Alright, so he thinks he's a Johnny Ivories. I'm assuming he's supposed to be in Johnny Ivories. Like that was his place Hello. he played. I... Do you know anything about this lady? Do you know anything about a ghost at a construction site downtown? Ghost? What are you what talking about? Get out of here! Yeah, I didn't think so. Just thought I'd cover Ow. my bases. So, Lauren, how are hey, things? I got something to say. What is it, Joey? So what do you think of our- Him? I don't think he wants to be saved. Really? No. Look at him. He seems peaceful enough. He I say does. we just leave him. No. You know we can't do that, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. I'm just cranky and tired. Is that right? It's hard to tell with you. Shut up. Be quiet. Is Johnny Ivory a name? Never heard of a name like that. Don't know. There's always the phone book. That's no, true. Looks like our night disappoint- nah. Uh, let's go home and look in the phone book. That seems All right. like a yeah. plan. Hold on, I want to ask from Lauren's perspective. Joey, sometimes they say it every yeah, Why did that go say Johnny Ivory's? Who knows with spooks like that? Probably doesn't even know where he is half the time. Okay, if you say so. That's it for now. Yeah. Well let's go. Look for Johnny Ivory's in the phone book. Welcome back home. <laughs> I love having to type it. Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. You up for some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Call it my special treat. Family legacy. Look at that smiling face. Keep being happy, Jacko. You deserve it. You just gotta stay the heck away from me. Aww. Jack Blackwell, my brother. Haven't seen him in years. He's now living with his fiance Maria. Good for him. There he is. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. What are you doing with yourself? I remember that day. I was in college, visiting home for Christmas. I had a pack of cigarettes hidden in my back pocket. Nobody noticed. Sorry you had to go through that, Mom. I guess you weren't strong enough. Patricia Blackwell, my mom. She was a medium, like me, but it drove her insane. I guess Joey has that effect on people. That's so upsetting. Wow. Oh, look, it's her. Good old Patricia Blackwell, also known as Cleopatra, Queen of Denial. Spent seven months bonded to that woman. She never spoke to me once. That's Jack, her kid brother. He's all right, I guess. Look how young she was. She's got to be 18, 19. It's been over 10 years. Time flies. If I'd known I could be photographed, I would have shown my good side. That's sad. I don't like that Joey's so fucking cavalier about it, but what the fuck are you going to do? It's Joey. Come on, let's hit the road. This place is Boresville Central. In a minute, Joey. No, for real, let's go. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Oh, 
All right, let's head to Johnny's. Hey, my dude. Uh, saxophone players who are dead? Do you know anything about that? Hey, mister. Yes? Got a minute? For a pretty thing like you, I got several. Huh. So what brings you here on such a sad night? Sir? <laughs> Do you mind? I just love music. Well, how about that? I just happen to make music. It's a match made in heaven. And Lauren, what's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. He definitely killed C. the saxophone player. You got it, sister. Is that C like the water? That's C like the chord. It's the first chord I played, and you never forget your first. Ain't that the truth? That's creepy as fuck. I'm sorry. That's creepy as hell. He's de he definitely killed that guy. You know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go all night. Ew! Can they now? Oh, jeez, make him stop. It's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. Don't Joey's I complaining. Know. You could say that. But I think it just got a bit I'm not interesting. Is that right? These lips don't lie. God sees nasty. So there's a ghost on the... I'm looking for info about a musician. Well, I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Liar, you killed him. Do you know anything about the construction site on 53rd Street? Why would you know anything now about what that? Would I know about it. Exactly. <laughs> no reason. So he's acting like he doesn't know. About that sax player. Yeah. You sure you don't know him? Like I said, sister, I need a name. Okay, maybe there's like. See you around. Something around here that has like the musicians' names on it. Hmm. This one looks interesting. The only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty girl, though. I wonder who she is. Hey, look who's behind the piano. The only thing holding up that pretty girl. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face. They fought over this woman for damn sure. That's him. The Jasmine ghost from the promenade. Looks like we're on the right track. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. That makes me hungry. Hmm. Might be worth checking out. So, about that lie that you just said. About that filthy, dirty lie that you just said. This place is empty. Good. The less people, the better. So, about that lie you told me, you liar. Hey, C. Hello, there. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time. Liar! Lying! Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope. Sorry. that sax player yeah he's in that photo behind you is he now yeah do you know him that picture is old sister it's not that old <laughs> it is kind of old Before he does he has a gray beard in his ghost Don't form who that is sorry he's lying to me uh, see you around. Anytime, i know sister. that piano player is him The woman is blocked. I can't see it. The woman is- I can't- How dare he lie to me? It's almost like he killed somebody or something. Hmm. I'm not here to- There's nothing else I can interact with here. Uh, Joey! Oh yeah, I forgot we can't talk to him when we're in public. Uh, there was probably an achievement for not doing that because there was one in the last game. Oops. So- I got as far as knowing something about Jambalaya Records and knowing there's a woman and a piano player involved. That's as far as I got. Give me Joey, because he won't talk to me. I should probably come down there. <laughs> like, I can't hear up there. Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Why are you haunting this? Oh. Get, get. Maybe we need to look up. Oh. Ow. 
Maybe if we go home, we can look up Jambalaya nope, I records. I can't leave the kid's side. I don't leave here until she does. La la la, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, I guess because he's bonded to her, he can't, I genuinely can't leave without her. That would be so annoying. Imagine never at, being able to like be alone for even ten seconds. Oh, my phone's ringing. Lauren. Lauren, it's Jack. Oh, it's her brother. Lauren, I know you're there. I'm your brother. For God's sake, talk to me. <gasps> Lauren! Uh... <phone rings> Calls him immediately. <laughs> Hello? Lauren! Hello? Lauren, is that you? Sis? Jesus. Now why'd you go and do that? That is so that annoying. Okay. All right. I want to talk right. to him. This is me backing off. No, it isn't. Good. All right. Let's see if we can call. If we call Johnny Ivory's, if somebody else picks up, the answer is no. Easy. Uh, okay. Better go over there in person. So let's look for Jambalaya records. How do you spell Jambalaya? Jambalaya. <laughs> Jambalaya. That can't be right. Records. There's no entry for that. Okay, how do you spell jambalaya? Can I just look up records? There's no entry for that. How do you spell jambalaya? <laughs> that's what I just spelled it as. There's no entry for okay, that. Okay, maybe that's not the solution. Got it. Oh, yeah, that was probably a good idea. So... Joey, I want to click on the cassette player. Okay. Damn! Radio signal can't get through. Could you move away a bit, Joey? Hey, we got stuff to do first. I'll let you listen to music later. Fine. I hate you so much. Last time I counted, I had around $60 in here. I'll save it for when I really need I'm not carrying that around. A doormat. It says welcome on it. For all the good it does. My boots. Good for rain and bad weather. An old coat I picked up at the thrift store. Okay, thrifting queen. I love that for us. Today's paper. It's tabloid crap, but it gives us most of our leads. So, Come on, I don't know how to spell jambalaya. Right That's you. gonna be a problem every time. It also might not be the solution. Hmm. Jambala. Okay, so I thought that's what I started to do, and then I was like, that doesn't seem right. We gotta find that woman. See what happened. See if she's dead. Maybe she is. I don't know. <laughs> Walks all the way across town to learn how to spell the word jambala. <laughs> what if this isn't how you do it? I don't know. Here we go. Jumbalaya Records, 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. Let's try calling them too, just because I like calling people. Nope. Busy. It's the middle of the goddamn night, so that makes Better sense. Better go over there. Come on, let's get out of here. No. Right behind you. I love this smooth jazz. <laughs> Hello! I'm here about a dead guy. Have you ever, um, hey Dwayne? Not from out here. So hear me out. <laughs> this is gonna sound real weird. Uh, good evening. Good evening to you. I'm Dwayne. Lauren Black. That is a made up I was accent. I hoping you could help me. I'll do my best. What can I do for you? So there's a guy. State the obvious. So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know? Well, by we, I really mean me. Mm, you do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation, that's me. So then there's no way he doesn't know our guy. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. Most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door, getting gigs in small clubs, helping with recording sessions, you know. 
the basic stuff that musicians don't want to Musicians! Music. You're up and late. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem? You want someone to call? Fair. Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get me started. I won't. I will. I might. I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. You looking for a standing or something more long term? Oh, no. Sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? I don't have it. Then I don't know what to say. Fair. But, like, I don't suppose you know anything about a construction site uptown. Construction? It's worth asking. No. So, I gotta get a copy of that photo. Hey, can you come with me to Johnny Ivory's? I'll show you that photograph I told you about. I wish I could, you know. But I have a ton of work. That's fair. It's kind Maybe of a weird request. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Something I can interact with here. Okay, let's head back to John Ivory's. We gotta figure out a way to get that photo. Can I, like, distract him? Somebody is already playing. <gasps> ghost! I don't know much about pianos, but it seems- Joey, do a- do some ghost shit! How am I supposed to have to face facts? My piano playing days oh, are long that's gone. That's sad. Maybe if a piano, like, hmm, dies- Sounds a bit out of tune. Just go fiddle your fingers in there. Go twiddle your fingers. You know what? Scare him away! What am I supposed to do? Blow in his ear? Yeah! He's not really my type. It's because you're too close-minded. He's a swinger past his prime. Not bad on the piano, though. It's kind of... I just wish he'd keep his eyes on the keys. Oh, are we getting a little defensive? Are we getting a little... Defensive? I don't know. Jealous? That might be the word I wanted. Forgets how to English. I don't need to... This joint doesn't draw much of a weekday crap. Hmm, this one looks interesting. Take a closer look. Don't mind if I do. You're a pervert. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting in the world. Take a take a close Stop it, immediately. It's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Jambalaya Records, huh? It's as good a lead as any. And I can't take a photo because this is the 70s. Oh wait, I brought a camera! Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm a ding dong, I'm a weenie, I'm a ding dong. So, just take a photo of that photo, with your camera. I cannot begin to define the dynamic that Lauren and Joey have going on. It's weird, because it's like... It's like an odd couple, but they're the, they're the exact same person. Like, <laughs> but then, they're so, he's sort of defensive of her. I don't know. She hates him. He hates her, but like he Loki doesn't, and like she Loki doesn't, because he's his own, her only friend. I don't know. It's a mess. They're a mess, and quite frankly, I don't need a picture of that. Of the exit, yeah. Quite frankly, they were made for each other. It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. Put it's the my camera trusty down. Pull Put it down so I can leave. Okay, then <laughs> just do it like that. <laughs> I have a photo of the photo that I need you to show me a photo of. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. No, 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 no. Thanks for the. I might be back. No pro. Take it out. Hand you know it to this him. band? Oh, yeah. I remember those guys. The C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah. I used to manage them. Used, used to. Used to manage them. But not anymore? Nah. Been about eight, ten years. Time flies, you know. So they were all three in a band together. C sharps. Can I ask you any more questions about the C sharps? Why can't I put it's the photo from John? Put it down. Put it down. Get rid of it. Put it down. Okay, I figured it out. Hi again. Hi you. Anything else you can say to me? Wait, did he not tell us their names? 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> what can you tell me about the sea sharks? Oh, they were strictly loud jazz, you know? Yeah, I know. But I saw them doing more. They really gelled, you know? Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What happened to them? Don't know. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Guess they just moved on or just broke up. It happened. Hey, Andrew. Hello. They definitely, that, that C definitely killed the first guy for, uh... I had to physically make her eat the photo. I did! It's <laughs> just like, put that back. So you don't know what happened? I don't know. They moved on, or... But tell me their names. Like, tell me their names. Thanks for the help. Wait, Can maybe I, I can ask him. Hang on. Hi, you. What was the sax player's name? There we go. Ah, uh, well... God damn it! It was a long time ago. I'm not much on individual names. I just remember the band. I only deal with the leader, you know? So who is the leader? Uh, sorry. You don't remember that either? It was a while ago, you know. Bitch, I have to... How do you not have records? This is a record store. This is a record label. You don't have records? Are you sure you don't know the sax player's name? Yeah, sorry. I don't think I ever spoke to him. Quiet, Bella. Born to play the sax. Makes sense. That's all I know. So you don't know what happened? I don't think... I don't suppose... Alright, so he was... Fi all we've managed to prove is that the people in the photo are the C-sharps. Definitely C is the person at the piano, but he won't own up to it because he definitely killed him over that woman. We need to find- we need to figure out a way to search for the C-sharps. I doubt they're in the phone book and they don't have the internet. No problem. Maybe if we go to the ghost and say like, Hey, are you a member of the C-sharps? Or something? He'll be like, yes. And it'll jog his memory somehow, I don't know. Failing this, we'll go home and try looking up the C-sharks in the- C-sharks. C-sharps in the phone book. Uh... But that might not do anything. I don't know. Okay, thanks for fuck all. There we go. Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. I know what you said, baby boy. Tell me about the C sharps. What are you, what are you crazy? crazy? Get out of here. Get off of Get here? Get out of here. Smack. Ow! Why is Johnny- I mean, why is Joey green? <laughs> Hello again. He died of gangrene. I said, let go of that. Why are you haunt- Get- Get- Okay, so all Ow. asking him about the C-sharps did was piss him off. Can I just talk to him regularly? No. I'll be back. Hey, Lauren. So, he's kind of being what is a it, dick. Joey? If you got a haunt a place, I can't think of a more perfect spot. I don't think he's paying attention to the view. Hmm. What a waste. I wonder if the C sharps were any good. Guess we'll never know now. All right. All right. Yeah. Switch to Lauren to leave because she doesn't know. He doesn't know how to leave. <sighs> Is there anything else like that one could look up? I guess we could call someone. I don't think they're gonna be in here, but we can give it a try. There's no entry for that. Okay. B failing that, the next thing I want to do is take it back to the man and be like, what do you know about the C-sharps? And he'll be like, Mom, let's get out of here. Don't know anything about you. that, darling, or whatever the hell he talks like. Not like that. He talks like smooth jazz, but in an uncomfortable way. Hey, what do you know about the C-sharps? Does that mean anything to you, piece hey, of shit? Hello there. Hey, what does this mean do to you? Do you know anything about the C-sharps? The C-sharps? Nah. Nah, I've never heard of Liar. it. Liar! Are you sure you don't know anything about the C-sharps? There's a picture of them right behind you. Positive. Lots of pictures appear on that wall. I just work here. I don't know its entire history. Now, you mind? I got a gig to finish. He doesn't like me anymore. About that sa- Yeah. Are you sure? Positive. What did that positive that popped up in the middle of the screen mean? About the seashells. I said I don't know them. Leave it be. About the I s leave it. About the yeah. Are you positive? 
You sure you don't know? I told you. I got no reason to leave this neighborhood. That's fair. See you around. If I show him the photo Anytime. of the photo, <laughs> he'll be like, what? Uh, maybe that'll do something. I don't know. He already knows about this photo. That's what I thought. It's his sheet music. Oh, sheet music. He's barely looking at it. He must know the song by heart. Oh, I want to see his sheet music. I can't take it. can't just take That would be rude. Joey. Hey, Joey. Yoo-hoo. Go take a sheet music. What do we have here? He's written something at the top of the sheet. Property of Cecil Sharp. Cecil Sharp! Oh, how sweet. Maybe his mommy signed it for him. This is why we bring Joey. He can get behind people and look over their shoulders and they're like, hmm, kind of chilly. Just some sheet. Nothing special. It's special. It's special, baby boy. All right, Lauren, let's go home. Look up Cecil Sharp in the phone book. Call him up on the phone. I don't know what calling him up on the phone is going to do. I just decided that's what we're going to do. Piano player. Cecil Sharp to C Sharps. Cute. Real cute. I did it! Oh my god! The Promenade Ghost once played in a band called the C Sharps. So we've connected them. I know he knows them. I know he knows them. Wait, not the telephone. That's the wrong thing. Cecil Sharp. Yes, there's a Cecil Sharp listed. Just a number. No address. Well, let's try calling it. Oh, it's ringing for once. No answer. Cecil! Okay. So maybe if we go to the ghost and are like, what, who, do you know Cecil Sharp? He'll be like, yeah, fuck that guy. And Come we'll on, be like, let's oh. Get out of here. Right behind you. Oh, I saw he stopped playing and I was like, oh my god, what happened? He was waiting for us. Alright, Joey, go handle it. Go manhandle it, basically. Hello again. I said, I let go of it. Yeah, of course you did. So, what do you know about Cecil Sharp? I don't suppose you know anything about the C Sharps and Cecil Sharp, do you? Get off the stage! Okay, that's obvious. What's wrong with you? Get out of here! Ow! Obviously a very triggering subject for him. I get it. Um, but the thing is, you're dead, and I need to do something about that, so... Hello you have, again. You have to be subjected to I this. I said let go of that. I know you said let go of that. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, you know what I should do? I should go back to the construction site and look up that construction company in the phone book. See, this is why we take notes. I didn't write down the name of the construction company. <sighs> I don't suppose- Get what? Get okay, that's the only thing he'll say. Oh. Hey, kid, come here. Yeah, Joey? I think it's kind of cute that he calls her kid, because if you think about it, she's a ton younger than him, even though they're the same age. You know? Hmm. You know what? Hmm. Liar. C sharps. What's wrong with that? It's too cute, darling. I don't trust cute. Really? You trust me, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Don't set yourself up for that, Lauren. He's not that kind of guy. Looks like a- Disappointed? Nah. Alright. Yeah. I want to talk to you, Joe. Let's, uh, put it from her so perspective. So do you think Cecil Sharp was really in a band called the C-Sharps? You can bet on it. I wonder if they were, like, brothers. And that's why they got away with naming the band, like, after Cecil, is that it was kind of after both of them. I don't know. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. In any case, can I try to talk to him again? Ugh, I messed that sounds up so bad. Is there He's playing the saxophone. I don't even think he knows we're here. So, let's go to the construction site and do what I just said, which I've forgotten. We can look up the uh, construction company. Because they probably... Some, they, oh, the woman! Is that who I think it is? Oh, no. Wait, please. 
Do you understand? Do you feel it? Do you see it? I told you I have no idea what you're talking about. You will. She's definitely a medium and she's like doesn't have any guidance. Will. I'm sorry. Who is that? Is she following us? I don't know. She kind of creeps me out. Me too. I wish I could put my finger on why. That can't be her mother, right? That's not her mother. Her mother. She said her mother died, right? She did. I swear to God, she did. And that woman has legs, so I don't think she's a ghost. They they'd be able to tell if it was a ghost. The gate is locked. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Write it down this time. Seagram Realty. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look up this woman in the phone book. There's not much I can do. Let's take a look. Harriet Sh Sherman. Written down. Absolutely. Taking it to the bank. We, not to the bank, but you know what I mean. Oh, look, an ashtray. Maybe the kid should get a job here. I can't make heads or tails. Hmm. I wonder if she likes dead. I should look up Farrah Fawcett just for fun. All right, let's try looking up those two things. Cause I, you do, I feel like you need to investigate both things at the same time. My home. I feel bad for her. All right, swap to Lauren. That broad really hacks me off. You should try flowers next time. Nope. Sorry about my neck bones. In any case, I feel like this is actually one of the, I don't want to jinx it. This is one of the better progress amounts that I've made in a detective game. Honestly, because I'm kind of dumb. Okay. Realty. Is that Ooh, high school realty? There's no listing. It is not high school realty. It must be based out of town. Oh. Okay, no. That is high school. Harriet. Sherman. Got her. There's a phone number, but no address. Well, because she died. I mean, that's Sherman? She's alive? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? So that's not... Okay, now I'm confused. I thought that was the ghost name. I'm calling from Seagram Realty. Ooh. Why didn't you say it? You've got my $60. Um, yes. Yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. Come on by and I'll answer whatever you want. 24 Rector down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. Word. So Joey, right, let's go. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry. Left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. I wonder where your grave is. That's the couch ashtray. For when I sleep or watch TV. Of course. That's the phone ashtray. For when I'm on the phone. That's the second kitchen ashtray. Second. For when I need both hands to take something out of the fridge. The kitchen ashtray. For when I'm cooking or watering the plant. She's got it all worked out, huh? I tried growing flowers in there once. Now, it's an ashtray. Damn. All right, let's go to that lady's house. Well, no shit, it's the front door. Go. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. All right, let's go to Harriet Sherman's. It's open! I'm back here in the kitchen! Harriet? Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like. After you give me the money. You got it? Um, no. I thought so. Right. Just another scam artist. Get out of here. 
And don't come back without the dough you skin flints owe me! Right, okay, so where do I get 60 bucks? Was my Did I have a purse? Was that something I had? No, that's a phone. Okay. Money. Hey, how do you Why think we should do it? Uh-huh. Nope. That's it for now? Yeah. Joey. I'm all- I really need to get a bigger place. You think so? I find this place quite cozy. So do I. That's the problem. Okay, that's not what I wanted to ask I need you. a change in my life, Joey. A change? The day-to-day -day grind of freeing tormented spirits getting too boring for you? Yeah. No, I'm thinking of changing the wallpaper. How does pink sound to you? Pink? You're not a pink person. It would brighten up the place. Like that no nightmare she had! Pink. I am so tired. I just want to relax and smoke a cigarette. Since when do you need an excuse to smoke a cigarette? Good point. I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. Where can I find $60? I gotta give her $60. Maybe if I call her on the phone. Yeah. Again, and pretend to be from someone else, I can ask her some questions. I should have asked him before I... Oh, I can't call her anymore. Alright, so... I should really clean this place up later. Anybody have 60 bucks? How do I find... Oh wait, I have fucking money right here. I'm so stupid. Things I'll do for a case. Alright, let's go. Easy peasy. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. I'm loving this music. I'm loving the soundtrack. It's open! Her little doggy. Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. You got my money this time. I sure do. It's about time. Give it here! What if she doesn't let me question her? I'd be so mad. Hmm. It's all here, sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? Joey. Don't worry about it. Oh, well, I won't. Now, you wanted to ask me something? That I did. How are things? So tell me about yourself. <laughs> me? What do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for secret? I got my fingers in a lot of pies. Not exactly. Ah, you just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. Yeah, no. She's all heart. Didn't think so. Uh, so what's up? What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? Who been there? How's the old place looking? There's nothing there. It's a big hole in the ground. Can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Hey, do you know who used to live in 3D? Something new and fancy, no doubt. Yeah. Do you know anything about? Do you know anything about Cecil Sharp playing in a band called the C Sharps? Who and the what now? Yeah, I didn't Never think so. Heard of either of them. It's just worth asking, you know. Have you ever been to Roosevelt Island? I hardly ever leave this room. Alright, so, I'm assuming no. to interact with things in the room, I need to be Joey, so that she's not like, What are you doing? Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. No, 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 no! Oh, well, we were done talking anyway. So, I didn't learn much. <laughs> Basically, I just got my money taken away. I can't investigate this room. It's open! I want to look at her dog really badly. Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. You got more- Yes, I do. Well, I ain't getting any younger. Very true. Very true, bestie. They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was a dump. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. That is generous. So they paid you money to leave? Yep. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. Building was about to be condemned anyway, so everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. Let's write it down! Mavis Wilcox. Even though she wrote it down in her notebook. Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. Yeah, I can she see that. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. 
Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. Okay, but like... A total shove-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. Mm. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you could definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. Why do you know I mean, that? She died. Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Right in the apartment she loved so much. I'd call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. Like dead ass, they just choked her to death? The gas man. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some stray kid, most likely. Thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. I mean, it's Happens a likely story. Time. Happens all the time. How well did you know Mavis? Like I said, I lived just down the hall from her, on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. But it's been six months, and nothing. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? Just that she lived on the third floor with me. There's nothing else. Can I have the... Can you tell me anything else about your old building? Good riddance is what I say. I lived on the third floor. Everyone on the street could see me. I like my new place much better. Can you tell me any good ri I, I like anything else you can just that So I want to look at that mail. Why can't I ask I you about the mail? I want to know what she got. Oh. Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much. Just that envelope on the counter. <laughs> Did I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of. Yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Wahoo. Thanks. All right. Peace Goodbye, out, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. All right. Let's look at that envelope. There's not much in here. Just a photograph and a letter. Show them to me. Ms. Wilcox, thank you for agreeing to speak with me the other day. As promised, I'm returning the photograph you lent me. All the best, Jay Mitchell, the New Yorker. That's her. That's that the kid? ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I'd bet the farm on it. Not Harriet Sherman. Who's the kid? I want to look at the... This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. That's her. Definitely the lady at the site. This kid... Nothing else? Okay. No. So do I just look for the New Yorker? I feel like that's a little bit too vague. No, I didn't actually click it. It's my phone book. No shit. Well, that's not how you spell it. Sorry, I thought I heard typing noises yep, in my there's head. There's a listing for the New Yorker. Their main office is in Midtown. Let's do it. Let's try calling them. Thank you for calling the New Yorker. How can I help you? Hello. Yes. I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Let's see now. Mitchell. Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff. Is that him? I guess it's worth a try. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. Oh. Somebody's actually going to answer the phone. He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. Yeah, I mean, it's worth a shot, I guess. Come on, let's get out of here. Right.
Right behind you. Hi. Yes? You're old as shit. Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. I'm Lauren Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. Is Joey gonna s hover over the other chair? I was hoping that you could help me. Well, I'll do what I can. What is this regard? Are you a reporter or... What am I? I'm not a reporter. I mean, I'm an investigator. I don't think you killed her. No, an independent investigator. I see, so you're not with the police. <laughs> Would it matter if I was? No, it wouldn't. So what can I do for you, Miss Black? Okay, so I guess that's okay. So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people, like me. You find that amusing? Oh, not at all. Did you know Mavis Wilcox? Miss Wilcox? Yes, I remember her. Lived uptown a ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. So what can you tell me about Mavis? I get the impression she didn't get out much. That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet with her. What was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea, showed me pictures of a family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. Any thoughts on who did it? Well, they were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But I doubt that. The police ruled it was some squatter or drifter or something, and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? I have no theory. Why did you want to write about her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She was begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And what did you discover? That, Miss Blackwell, is the eternal question. I've spoken to hundreds of people over the years. Most of them were odder than Mavis. It's impossible to decipher the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contended myself just with the whats. Okay, that means literally nothing. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon. Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a Why is he such a dick? Have you ever heard of a band called the C Sharps? The C Sharps? They were a jazz band, weren't they? You've heard of them? Yes. Can you tell me anything about them? Sorry, I've never actually heard them play. In my line of work, you just pick these things up. Have you heard these reports of saxophone music on the Roosevelt Island promenade? Saxophone music? On the promenade? I'm afraid not. I haven't been to that area since, well, in a while. Since what? So tell me about- uh, Tell me- Yes, I hope you- I'm afraid I'd make- Have you ever heard of- the they were You've heard of- Okay. Yeah. Can you tell- Sir, am I- I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. Do you know what issue it was in? I'd like to look it up. I never published it. Oh. I was going to, but then Mavis died and it just seemed wrong somehow. I don't even have the rough copies anymore. I'm sorry. Why was he so quick to bail on that story? I mean, I get not wanting to publish it, but not having like any of the drafts is kind of odd to me. I mean, I know this is before we used computers and digital drafts, but like still, when you have it, I mean, you got a big filing cabinet over there, like. You don't have anything? I think that's all for now. Alright. You have a good night now. I don't like that I can't poke around his apartment. So... We gotta find that kid in the, in the hoodie. I'm upset that I couldn't show him the photo and be like, who's that? I mean, it's her kid, I'm assuming, because it looks just like her, but like...
This kid doesn't. What if I try looking up Columbia? <laughs> Just Columbia, the concept. Columbia University. Oh, there's the number. I didn't think that would actually work because it's too vague. Columbia University, operator speaking. How may I direct your call? I doubt the ghost goes to Columbia University. That's hardly relevant. Well, then what do I ask him? Doubt that that's hardly right. Oh, maybe I need it's to start anyway. making some connections. Right. I almost try that. That might be the issue. Hmm. The promenade ghost once played in the band. Nope. Um. So I can't. I guess I have to. It's the photo from Johnny Ivory. It's the photo. It's the photo. Can't view it. That's why I'm having trouble. I don't need a picture. I'm trying to. Leave. I don't need. A I'm trying to leave. Okay. I don't think I comprehend. Is there more? No. Oh, here we go. He's wearing a Columbia. He's wearing. Okay, I had to. I had to observe his Columbia University hoodie before I could ask about it, which is kind of dumb because I saw it with my own two eyeballs. Columbia University operator speaking. How may I direct? That's hardly relevant. Oh, I didn't mean to click anything. Um. I doubt the ghost. Wait. I... That's hard. Out. Thanks anyway. Why can't I Joey? I wish I could charge him rent. I want to talk to you, Joey. Yes. I guess we better get out there and after you. Joseph Mitchell certainly is interesting. Yeah, interesting. Did you notice his typewriter? No. No. What about it? There was dust on it, and the paper was blank. That thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. Maybe he uses a pen and paper. That's us. I don't know what to make of that, though. Any thoughts on our construction site ghost? Her? Eh, she's not bad. Any thought? Nothing. Sp so, do you think she's? You can bet. Any thought? No more than you, darling. He likes his music. I doubt we'll get. That was right, switch to Joey. Yeah, we'll talk more later. His thoughts are. Hey, I got. Sure. I think our reporter friend definitely, is hiding something. Definitely. You think that about everybody, Joey. He's Have right. I ever been wrong? <laughs> no, you haven't. There you go. I can't get a read on that lady ghost. She either wants to slap me or... You could... Yeah. See... What's wrong? It's... I don't... Really? You trust... Yeah. Looks like our... Disappoint... Nah. Alright, so... We think the ghost... I mean, we think the reporter is hiding something. That's obvious. And we had the number to Columbia University, but it won't let me ask them hey, things. Have you done something different with your hair? What do you mean? I don't know. Something's different. I washed it this morning. With shampoo? Yeah. That's what threw me. He is so rude. So are we going to futz around here all night? We got stuff to do. Yeah. So are we going to... We got... Yeah. All right. Yeah. So... I can't remember... Just another one of the many mugs that plague this place. It's the front door. An old rain bucket filled with cigarette butts. Hi ho the glamorous life. <laughs> um. Oh, she can't look at it. Here's what I don't get. Any of it. So why can I call Columbia, but I can't be like, "Hey, do you know this dude? This kid, he's wearing a col. He's wearing a this. Kid. That's her. That. Why can't I ask them about it? That's annoying. Maybe.
Come on. Right. I'm going back to the reporter's place first. Maybe there's another prompt now that I've looked at the Columbia on the hoodie. And if not, yes. I'll simply pass away. Twice in one evening. Come on in, sit down. Anything else? I'm a so tell me. I, tell me. Yeah, I hope you didn't. I'm afraid. Of I think. All right. You have a good. All right. Okay. That wasn't it. I don't know why I sit so crooked. So. Oh, wrong guy. <laughs> Dang it. Uh. I wonder if I can show him the photo. Be like. Be like, you see that? Is that you? Hey, do you recognize this photograph? Hello? Nice try, sweetheart. But I think a more direct approach uh, is required. Do I need to do a, a like a one-two combo? Another night, and hopefully this won't take too long. I'll be back. Hello again. I see. I I don't suppose you get oh, what? what? Get Okay. Ow! Why can't I grab why can't Joey grab the saxophone while she shows him the photo? That seems like it should work, but it doesn't work. He's playing a saxophone. I don't even think he knows. Hey, do you recognize nice trip but I Yeah, okay, can't do that. And why not? this all right all right that didn't work I thought it would it didn't I'll be back it's just a hello again I said let go I know what you said what do you know about a room Mitchell I'm not, I'm not sure. sure he's a nice, nice man. man he asked he me about my life he bought, he bought me a me drink, drink, gave me $10. He, he, hey, 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 what are you what doing on stage, stage, man? Oh, here we go again. Get, Get out of here! Da! Ah! Mitchell is hiding something. He does not interview these people to write articles about them. Not at all. Hello. See, this is yeah. why we ask. I tell you, I they're said, intertwined. let go of that. Do you cat look? I'm in the middle of something here. Get off the stage before I punch your lights out. Get out of here! I get it. I'm gonna try asking about the reporter one more time. Hell I What else do you know about Mitchell? Hey, what you wanna know about him? He's a nice guy, he don't bother nobody. To lie. Treat me nice, so I'll treat him nice. You stay away! Get out of Ow! Hello again. I said. What else do you Hey, white woman, he's a nut. He treat you to get out. I'm asking one more time about Mavis. Hello. I was not expecting those two things to be related in that way. Do you know cat? Look at all get Let's see if we can. Ooh. All right. Let's, sw <laughs> Let's switch to Lauren and see if we can connect this to him. I don't see what one has to do with the he other. Did, did, he just said. He just told. He just said. Uh, I don't see. Hmm. I don't get. Are you dumb as fuck, girl? There she is, my partner for life. Aw. Hey, I got something. To what is it now? Hmm. Yeah. hmm. I think. I you think? Have I? Why can't I? There you go. Looks like I'm disappointed. He know they know. Okay, I guess I can go back and maybe go to All the right, reporter and be like, I know you know more yeah. about the, the C sharps. How terrifying nope, is it? I can't leave the kids. Uh, that like. <laughs> I don't leave here until she does. You're connected to these two deaths, and a reporter comes in, or she's not a reporter, and an investigator comes in and is like, What do you know about Mavis Wilcox? What do you know about the C sharps? And you're like, Um. <laughs> 
Nothing. Yes. I'm becoming darn right popular. Come in, have a seat. I don't like it when the characters acknowledge how many times I've come to visit them. Have you ever heard of the C Sharps? They were a jazz band. You've heard of them? Yeah. Can you tell me? Sorry, I've never actually heard. In my line of work, you just liar. Have you heard these saxophone? I'm afraid I am. Anything? I'm afraid of. So tell me about. I tell me. Yes, I hope. I'm afraid I'd make up. I want to investigate this room while she's talking to him as Joey, but it won't let me do that, and that's annoying that's me. All right. You have a good night. Maybe I can ask the ghost about her son? I don't know. Because he can't show- Because Joey can't show her the photo. So, like, it, I don't get what we would do. I don't know. Joey, go inside. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. He can't- This is filthy. Show her the photo. She looks middle-aged, but it's hard to tell in her current state. That's like fair. most ghosts, she doesn't seem to be aware of her surroundings. My home. I know, honey. I feel bad for her. Did I leave the gas on? Go talk to her, Joey. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My. Hi. I'm popular today. Oh, you again. I'd like to ask- Look, I'm not going- Who are- Can I say that I'm- Ah! Her son. It's me. Your son. Sam? Sam. Yep. That's Sam. me. That's what I- mean. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you. Yeah, look at me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no. I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. Oh, um, how's it going? Oh, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own, but I get by. Yeah, I can see that. How's Dad, Mom? Oh, Sam, you know that your father is dead. John Durkin died years John ago. John Durkin, write it down. Ah, right. Sorry. So, Mom, how are my brothers and or sisters? That's only child. Not, not funny, Sam. You know you're an only child. Right, just checking. Listen, Mom, I need you to think very carefully. What's the last thing you remember? What do you mean? Answering the door and seeing you, of course. And before that? Nothing. You know nobody comes here. Except for the grocer sometimes. And that... That who? Reporter. Nobody. Have you been talking to a reporter from the New Yorker? Yes, such a nice man. He came over and talked to me for a bit. I liked him. He listened to me. What did you talk about? Oh, this and that. Don't know why he was so interested. I want Mexican food. That's got nothing to do with what's going on. I just want Mexican food time is it? Almost eight? I want Mexican food. <laughs> okay, so the grocer comes- okay, I need to start a new- my notes are getting a little messy. Actually, let's do it up here. So the people who come by are the grocer and an unknown man. I cannot write the word grocer, but I'm assuming the unknown man is either the realty people and she doesn't want to tell Sam about that for some reason, or- um, Jay Mitchell. So, tell me more about yourself, Mom. Sam, since when did you become so interested? Just trying to get to know you better. Well, isn't that sweet? But I honestly don't know what to tell you. I wonder why they didn't get along. Do you know a guy named John Durkin? Is that a joke, Sam? You know he's been dead for ten years. Ten years. Ah, uh, sorry. 
How can you forget? He was your father. Why do we have different last names? Mind. Slip your mind. Just look, forget it. So what can you tell me about me? You're so confusing, Sam. Never mind. Do you know anything about a ghost on Roosevelt Island? A ghost? Sam, don't be silly. <laughs> I'm just in a silly, goofy mood, Mom. I am trying to click it. It won't let me click that. So, Sam, just well, it, but I. Have you been talking? Yeah, he can't. I like. What did you talk? Oh, don't know. Mom. Look around carefully. Are you sure that you're at home? You're so confusing, Sam. Look at the door. It says D. Clear as day. Okay. I'm not getting anything else out of it. I'm going to go now, Mom. I'll come back to visit you soon. Sure, Sam. I'll be here. Where else can I go? That is so at home setting. Back. You were gone? Hey, kid, come here. Sure, what's up? Actually, I don't have- You? Mavis seems to really love her son. Really? Yeah, but I don't think the feeling's mutual. Mavis seems- Oh, really, I, I yeah. meant to click on John. Mavis seems- Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I guess John. I think- You think- Have I ever- No, you- There you go. All right. Yeah. I want to talk. I'm. Family relationships are tricky. It gets even trickier when the dead are involved. Family relations. It get. That's it for now. Yeah. Well. My next step. If John Durkin was Sam's father, it's only logical that Sam's last name would be Durkin. Oh, that makes more sense. I was wondering why they didn't have the same last name, but it's because in my notes I already wrote it down as Wilcox, because I just assumed. No. I think I'll keep it as Sam Durkin for now. Hmm. Mavis was married to John Durkin. Now John Durkin is dead. Why did Mavis she change her last get name? Get remarried? Maybe she was divorced. Maybe she was divorced or maybe she was remarried. No. I don't see what one. Cause they. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see. Well, it. I mean, we can go talk to him about that. Let's um. Go look up Sam Durkin in the phone book, and then I'm assuming we won't find him, and then we'll call Columbia University and be like, "I need to speak to Sam Durkin," and they'll be like, "Why?" And I'll be like, "I don't know," and they'll be like, "You can't," and I'll be like. better it looks like my mic was messed up too it might have been my usb hub i don't know in any case i'm back and honestly now that i'm thinking about it maybe that wasn't even because if my mic was messed up too then it might have been the usb hub not the mouse oh well There's no entry for that. Did I spell it my right? Couch. Oh, it doubles it? as my. It really doubles as her bed at night. There's no. En that seems. It's my phone. Like not how it should work. There's no entry for that. I mean, it makes sense. He's dead as hell. Okay. Use the phone.
How may I direct your call? How about Sam Durkin? Is there a Sam Durkin listed? Sam Durkin, yes. Hold, please. It's about time. She said that like she's tried before. Durkin. Is this Sam? Yeah. Who's oh, I was calling Durkin wrong. My name is Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your mother. Oh. Questions, huh? Yeah. Alright, I'll bite. How do you know my mom? I'm investigating her death. Oh. You're a cop, are you? Oh, exactly. My dad was a cop. I know people. I can check. No, I'm not a cop. Didn't think so. Just a concerned citizen, huh? It does not sound like a dream. Somehow I don't believe you. Nobody in their right mind would be concerned about my mom. Whether you believe me or not, it can't hurt to talk to me. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you knew her, you know what apartment number she was. 3D, in. baby! You sure you would. She never left the damn place. So what was it? Right, so maybe you did know her. Thank you. Yeah. So what do you want to Cause know? Cause I about? took fucking notes. Cause I took. Hang on, where is it? Apartment 3D. She owns the apartment. Cause I took fucking notes. That's how you know I'm a real fucking investigator and how I knew your mom. What do you know about her death? It was suicide. She killed herself? Not literally, but it was like she chose to die. She had every opportunity to leave. They were gonna pay her and find her a new place and everything. I tried to get her out, but that's my mom. She couldn't be dragged out of that dump by anybody or anything. Do you know who killed her? She was killed by some junkie, wasn't she? So they say. You think different? That's yeah, of course I do. Good luck to you. How close were you with your mother? Close? Think of the farthest place you can and add another 10,000 miles. That's how close we were. The woman wasn't a mother, just crazy on wheels. Did Mavis ever leave her apartment? Never. Not once in the last 15 years. You don't seem upset by her death. Upset? Sure, she was my mom. But am I gonna lose sleep? No. She drove my pop out of the house and into an early grave. Ooh. I once thought I'd follow in his footsteps, but not anymore. The woman didn't go anywhere never did anything. She was killing me just by existing. Now I feel like I can breathe again. Sad. That's the truth. What was it like living with her? You kidding? I lived with my pop. After three years of marriage, he had enough. Glad he had the sense to take me with him. And after your father died? I got by. You never visited your mother? Yeah, I visited her on Mother's Day, if that's what you want to know. Even got her a present once. Really? Yeah, for all the good it did. What was it? What did you give your mom for Mother's Day? I don't think that's any of your business, lady. It's been years. Just dust in the ground now. Bye, Sam. Thanks for your time. Yeah. That's so sad. Let's try looking it up and spelling his name right this time. No listing. I thought for sure that would work. So, that present sounds important. Sam got his mother a present for Mother's Day. Whatever it was, it probably got destroyed when the building was knocked down. Oh, maybe if we find it. No. Maybe there's a connection. No. No. There's no connection. Mavis was married to John Durkin. Now John Durkin is dead. Why did Mavis change her last name? Maybe she was... Oh yeah, he did just say they got divorced. Did I ever try this? There's no entry for that. There isn't a listing. Dead people usually aren't listed in the phone book, dear. Just the obituary. Can I read the obituary? We've already looked. We don't need... Okay. I wonder if I can ask the reporter about John. And then we Come can on, probably ask the ghost about Mother's Day gifts. 
all really cool, interesting things. Oh, I meant to go to the reporters. Oh, well, we can do the ghost thing first. Joey, get in there. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Hi, Ma. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My, I'm popular today. Oh, hello, Sam. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which present was that? I need to look at the photo. Maybe flowers? Um, the flowers? You never- no one has given me a Ah, uh, sorry. That's sad. Let's switch to- I'm going to I'll come back to visit you- Sure, Sam. I'll be, I'll be here. here. Hello, Adam. Joey, what are you doing in there? Just sit tight. Hurry up, will you? Some homeless guy just made a pass at me. I'm back. You were gone? Hey, you got a minute? Oh, wait. No, no, sure, no. What's up? I don't need to talk to you. All right, swap let's get you. on with it. Yeah. Okay. Let me look at this. He got her... There's nothing in this photo. Maybe I just need to keep trying things. Like, just try everything in the conversation. I'm going in a- Yeah, yeah. Hey, kid. Knock on- My. Hi. Oh. Hi. About- Which present was- um, the scarf? Don't be silly, Sam. You never yeah. gave me a scarf. I dropped my... Dropped my pen. It's important. I need that for the note-taking. No! I can't just get a new pen. That would ruin the integrity of the note-taking. Alright, so it's not a scarf. It's About not flowers. Which... Um, the perfume? You never gave me perfume, Sam. What would I do with perfume? Yeah, who smells you? About Nobody. that... Which present? Um, the hat? A hat. Sam, have you ever known me to wear a hat? No, no, sorry, sorry. About... Which present? Never mind. So what... You're... Never Have you been... Yes, such a nice They man. all think he's nice. He came over and talked to me for a bit. I liked him. He listened to me. What did you talk about? Oh, this and that. Don't know why you was. I don't trust none of that. Don't trust a lick of it. Mom, are you sure? Look, look at the door. It says D. I'm going to go and I'll come back. Sure, sir. I'll be here. So we can't ask her about the gift until we figure out what it is. I wonder if there's more of her possessions at the one woman's house? Probably I'm not, back. but like maybe. You're gone? Yeah, let's go to the woman's house and just see if she has any more info about her. We can ask about the son, we can ask about it's the husband, open. anything. Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. That's you got me. more questions for me? You yes, already know it, Queen. Well, hurry up and ask. I ain't getting any younger. Do you know anything about this picture? I don't know the boy, but that was Mavis's living room. If Mavis had a son, I never saw him. Do you know any college kids named Sam? No, never heard of him. Do you know a John Durkin? No, never heard of him. Do you know any reporters from the New Yorker magazine? 
Reporters? No. Anything up? Just this. Do you know? No. Do you know any? No. Goodbye, Miss. Don't mention. Have we talked to the reporter about John Durkin yet? Yes. Let's try it. I'm becoming Don. Come in. Do you know anything about John Durkin, Mavis's ex-husband? Oh yeah, she did talk about him. Broke her heart, she said. I know they divorced very early in the marriage, and he died several years later. But I'm afraid I know nothing else. Do you know anything? Oh yeah, she broke. I know, but I'm. Do you know anything about Sam, Mavis's son? I'm afraid not. Mavis discussed her son and seemed proud of him, but I don't think they see each other. I've never met the boy myself. Did Mavis ever mention a gift or present from her son? Now that you mention it, yes. She showed me a leather-bound edition of Alice in Wonderland uh -huh. and said it was from her son. Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. What the? Yeah, I've heard of it. That's cute. Alright. What was that present, Mavis? It was a leather-bound... Alright, I don't need to write that down because I'm literally going to take it there now. I think now. that's all for now. I'm lying, I'm writing it all down. Right. You have a good night now. I wonder why it was Alice in Wonderland. I wonder what she liked about Alice in Wonderland. Maybe it was like, maybe it wasn't a thoughtful gift. I'm thinking of it like it's a thoughtful gift. Maybe it wasn't thoughtful. I don't know. Maybe we have to find it. The gate is locked. Oh, no, duh. So, Shoei. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Hey, girl. <clears throat> hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My. I'm popular today. Oh, hello, Sam. Hey, girl. Hi, Mom. About that present. Which present was that, Sam? The book. Alice in Wonderland. Of course I still have it. It was the only Mother's Day gift you ever bought me, Sam. Can I see it? Whatever for. Come on, Ma. I just want to see it. Sure, Sam. It's right on the table. Great. Uh, why don't you bring it out here? You mean, pick it up? Yeah, pick it up and bring it over. Pick it up. Sure, I can pick it up. Oh! Oh, no! What? The book! It's gone! Gone, huh? Imagine that. Somebody, Somebody stole, stole it. it! Sam, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay, Mom. Okay? Okay? I lost your, your gift. gift! You can't pick up the book because it's not there. Sam? The book's not there and neither is the table, right? What? Think! The book's gone. The table's gone. The whole room is gone. Sam, Sam you're, you're awful. awful. I'm upset, upset and, and I'm sorry. sorry. Don't, don't make, make it, it worse, worse please. please. You need to find that book, Mom. I don't know if I can love a mother who loses my gifts. You don't mean that. I mean it, Mom. You need to tell me where the book is. But I don't know where to look. Out in the hallway to get her to leave the apartment because that's where she thinks she is. Maybe it's out here, Mom. In the hallway? Sure, in the and hallway. And she never left her apartment. Yeah, I'm sure it's out here. Come on out and help me look. Oh, okay, okay Sam. Sam. But, but only for you. I, I still don't see it anywhere. Let's try further down, Mom. This is sad. I'm, I'm outside. Yeah, I knew you could do it, Mom. Mom? Sam? Sam, Sam where are we? we? I'm, I'm scared. scared. I'm right here. Mom, I need you to do something. What? Turn around. I can't. Sure you can. Just turn around and look behind you. Oh, where's the building? Where's my apartment? Where's my home? It's gone! Those bastards, they tore it down! You, you made me leave, and they tore it down! Hey, calm down. 
I've got nothing now. Mom. I am not your mother. You are not my son. My son hates me. All I had left was my home, and then... Then I... Oh, you died. Are you happy now? You couldn't just leave me there. You had to bring me out. You had to make me remember. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Being dead, it's horrible. You get used to it. I... I don't want to feel like this anymore. Everything is so dark and cold. Can I go home now? Sure. Sure, I can take you home. Just hold on to this. Over to you, kid. Right. Oh, my God. Mavis? It's so bright and big. It just goes on forever. I just want to go home. Please, can I go home? I think that's the only home you've got now. I'm sorry. What a legacy. Husband gone and dead. My son hates my guts. My home is gone. My life, over. I remember that too. Dying, I mean. Yes, tell me who it was. Old woman choking me. Old woman? She just came in and killed me. She said she was going to help me. Uh, well, what now? The light, Mavis. Just head towards it. And then? I don't know. I'm scared, but... It feels right somehow. Oh, John. Sam. I'm so sorry. For everything. I wish I could feel sorry for you. But I don't feel much of anything anymore. Best of luck, wherever you are. Oh! Uh... Joey? Yeah, hi. Glad you're up. You! Did you? Did you save her? Yeah, yeah, sure. We saved her. Joey, is she talking to you? Of course yeah, she is. Go figure. Thank you, both of you. I only wanted to save them. Did she Davis kill her? told me she was killed by an old woman. Was that you? I save, just like you. Who are you? I am the Countess. Countess? Countess of what? It's the only name I know. I saved them. I helped them. I... I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. Don't just stand there. Let's get after her. Couldn't find her? She's pretty spry for an old lady. Spry my foot? You couldn't outrun a one-legged turtle with those lungs. Don't start with me, okay? That sucks. That's like heavy stuff. Like, I knew it was, but like, dang. Dang. Man. That is a sad legacy. And she left her apartment for Sam. so sad and the thing about the gift too oh my god that is so sad ugh I wonder if that old woman and that reporter know each other they must right I'm assuming so because they're too connected am I Joey? I'm, I want to be Lauren let me let me look at my notes I'm not moving from this spot until I finish blah 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 okay I guess I'm Joey then Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I don't know. But I think this case just got a hell of a lot more complicated. She's killing people. Fantastic. And making them ghosts. For what reason? For what purpose? That's what I want to know.
Countess keeps turning up like a bad penny. Is she really a murderer? Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. I want to talk to you. What's the... What do y'all think about the Countess? That old woman. How could she see you? I don't know. Only folks that can see me are animals and other ghosts. And me. I don't think she's either. I don't know, Joey. She reminds me of something. Maybe it Sorry. is her I mother. Can't explain it. Well, if you see her. But her mother's supposed to be dead. That's it for now. Talk yeah, to Joey we'll talk more later. I want to take it from Let's there. you and me have a little. Yeah, Joey. That old lady. There's something about her. Well, she has killed someone. Yeah, but it's more than that. If she was just an ordinary murderer, I wouldn't care. We just handle the victims of murder, not the murder itself. Got any ideas? Not yet, but she's definitely more than what she seems. Lucky us. I love that for us, quite frankly. All right. Yeah. So, let me go look at that photo again and see if she says that her mom is dead. Because... Sorry you had to go through that, Mom. I guess you weren't strong enough. Patricia Blackwell, my mom. She was a medium, like me, but it drove her insane. I guess Joey has that effect on people. Okay, it didn't say she died, just said it drove her insane. I guess it could be, she could be alive then. Just going insane doesn't mean that you died. That was a bad idea, she's right strong behind you. that. I'm gonna see if he knows anything about the Countess. Because he's like a new reporter, so yes. he keeps up with things like that. I'm becoming Don Rat popular. Come in, have a seat. So true, bestie. Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? I've met plenty of strange old women, Miss Blackwell. True. Some stranger than others. Can you give me some more details? She calls herself the Countess. Mr. Mitchell? I'm thinking. No. I can safely say I've never set eyes on this woman. I'm sorry. You wouldn't need to think that hard about it. You really wouldn't. Are you sure you've never met a woman like that? No, I've never met a woman like that. He's lying through his I little teeth. I think that's teeth. all for now. Alright. You have a good night now. Lying. Liar! You wouldn't have that reaction. You wouldn't have to think, oh, have I ever met a weird old lady who calls herself the Countess? If you met somebody called the Countess, you would remember it. That is a load of malarkey. <sighs> malarkey, I say. I need to run to the bathroom. Um, that's it. That's the end of my sentence. I need to run to the bathroom. I will be right back. And then we will continue uh, talking to ghosts. I wonder if there's only two ghosts in this one, or if there's more. I would think that there's more, because in the last one there were like five. And this is the one after that one. I don't think they would dumb it down for the sequel. It's not a Disney movie. It's not a straight-to-VHS Disney movie. I'm going to mute myself. Sorry, I'm back to mute myself. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, never mind. back from my bathroom side quest. I'm here to do the main quest again. It took so long because I took my phone with me. That was the mistake I made. Should not have done that if I wanted to be back speedily. Alright. So I think this is going well. We've helped one person cross to the other side and it was really sad. Um... That's the thing about these games. They're very poignant. And I like that for me. I like that. I deserve to feel feelings sometimes. I'm, I spend too much time trying to drown out my thoughts. 
don't know what's wrong with me. <sighs> I haven't talked to him in a while. Let's just go back just for the heck of it. You never know, Enough right? About here I he looks pretty hard at work. He looks pretty. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. I don't suppose you've seen any strange old women wandering around. Not unless you mean my mother. <laughs> Does your mother call herself the Countess? Not recently, no. Do you read the New Yorker? The New Yorker? No, not really my thing, you know. So you've never heard of a reporter named Mitchell, then? Nope. Was Cecil Sharp in the band The Sea Sharks? Cecil Sharp. Sea Sharps. Yeah! Got him. I knew I heard the name from somewhere. So do you remember him now? Oh, yeah, he was the band leader. A genius on the piano. Got you, stupid. Are you sure you don't know the sax player's name? Yeah, sorry. I don't quiet, fella. Born to play the sax. The so Cecil Sharp was in the band The Sea Sharps. Yeah, that was definitely him. So, yeah. That would make sense. That would make perfect Thanks sense. That might be no pro. Come on out. Hey there, pervert. Hey, C. Hello there. What can you tell me about your old band, the C-Sharps? C-Sharps? Can't help you there. Never heard of them. Now, I know that's a lie. I spoke to your old manager. He confirmed who you are. You spoke to Dwayne? Yep. Yes, I did. That... Fine. You got me. Yes, I used to run a band called the C-Sharps. It was a rotten time in my life, and I'd just as soon forget it. Why are you stirring up these old ashes, huh? I have my reasons. Yeah. Sure you do. Cause you murdered the saxophone player. I love that sax player. Yeah. He's in that photo behind you. So I know he's with the C-Sharps and that you know him. What is this? You from that damn magazine? Magazine. The New Yorker. You a reporter? No. So who is he? You just don't quit, do you? You want to know so badly? His name is Isaac Brown. Isaac Brown. Isaac Brown? <laughs> yes. You happy now? No. Ecstatic. Great. What can you tell me about Isaac Brown? Him? He's a bum, a drunk, a nobody, a lowlife. He's also dead. And how did he die? Someone strangled him to death with his bare hands. Isaac must have squealed like a pig. You don't seem very upset by this. No, but last time someone asked about Isaac, it was some reporter from The New Yorker. Hmm. He came along, asked his questions, then bam, Isaac's dead. Really? Yeah. So forgive me if I don't take kindly to pushy questions. That's fair. Who is the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talker. Drove me crazy. He is a slow you talker. You think he killed Isaac? I just played the piano. I don't That's think fair. anything. That's true. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac, the son of a bitch had it coming. Oh? So please, just get out of here. Hey Robin, if you're still there, can you do something about that bot? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. I don't need to buy followers, primes, and viewers. I'm good, thanks. I don't suppose you've seen a strange old woman around, have you? This is the village, sister. You see all sorts out here. She calls herself the Countess. Sorry. <laughs> I don't suppose- This is- you She calls- Sorry. About I- Leave it, lady. The past is dead, gone, and buried. Why didn't he like him? About that I know nothing else a southern guy. Talked real slow. Asked a bunch of questions. Just leave it, okay? See you later. Yeah. Okay, I think you've dipped out, so I'm gonna block them myself. I'm good, thank you. So now we know the guy's name. 
That might help him. Of course, I don't think that worked with Navis, did it? So, I don't know. Let's go try it. I wish I could ask about the woman in the photo. It won't let me. Ugh, forget it. The way it says, I'm just now realizing it says reason bot, because I typed in bot. Go grab his sex. I'll be- I accidentally clicked on the guy. Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. You're Isaac Brown, aren't you? What's, What's it to it you, man? man? So you are Isaac Brown? How do you know me? Get away! Get, away. Get, Get out of here! No, no, no. Stop smacking Ow. me. Hello again. Hi. I said let go of that. What else do you know about Mitchell? Hey, what you want to know about him? He's because a nice he killed guy. you. He's working with the Countess. They interview nice people and then they kill them nice. for some reason. You stay away. Get. Ooh. <laughs> I like how his injured Hello. noise keeps changing. I... So. Have you seen any strange old ladies lurking around Any here? who might have strangled you? Lady. You seen the old lady? Yes, I have. Yeah, you know her? What do you know? What do you know? Nothing. Liar. Nothing. I don't know nothing about no old lady. Don't lie to me. Get out of here! An old lady killed you. I know she Ow. did. She somehow strangled you with her bare hands, despite the fact that she's an old lady. Well, she is Hello fast, again. so maybe she can't, maybe she's just I really said, fit. Let go of that. I know what you said. You're Isaac. What's it? So okay, I can't ask him. That. So he is Isaac Brown. I didn't mean to go over there. Hell, Let me see if he has anything else to say about the Countess. About the old. I said. Get, get, get. No, he doesn't. Ow! He won't ask me. He won't let me have anything else about the reporter either. What is it, Joey? Hmm. hmm. Our friend Isaac has certainly given us a run for our money. I don't know, Joey. I think we've nearly cracked this one. You think? I hope so. Famous last words. That's true. I think. You think? If I ever. No. You there you go. Something I'm noticing is that a lot of a lot of the dialogue has like a puff of air at the beginning, almost like they're talking into like a not great microphone. It's kind of weird. That old lady. There's some. Well, she had. Yeah, but it's if she was just an ordinary. We just got any. Not lucky. Yeah. Right, let's swap to Lauren. All right. Yeah. Let's. Uh huh. What do you have to say about Isaac? At least we've got his name now. Isaac Brown. Does that name mean anything to you? Afraid not, sweetheart. Still, a name is something to go on. I guess we can take it back to That's the record now. store. Yeah, we'll talk more later. And be like, what do you know about Isaac Brown? I guess he probably doesn't know anything, but like, who else knows him? Like, Hi there, it's me again. Hi again. <laughs> Hi yourself. Again. That sax player from the C-Sharks. His name was Isaac Brown. Does that mean anything to you? No, sorry. I remember the sax player, but I never spoke to him, you know? Quiet fella. Bo you don't remember anything else about Isaac? No, quiet fella. Do you read the, the new... So you've nope. Alright, so he does not know anything about this man. Thanks for the help. So, I'm maybe if we take the name Isaac Brown no to the problem. reporter... He, because he did, he interviewed, um, C about, about Isaac, so he can't claim, I mean, he knows about them, like, they've told us that he does. Knock, yes. knocker. Knock, 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 knock on my door. I'm becoming knock, a duck. Knock, knock. It's the only me. You're not popular. It's just me. I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Really? Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in-depth. Out of respect, you understand? Liar! Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. Because they're weird? I felt weird? he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. She does, trust Walk me. down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of school. 
I'm wondering if he published. Okay, he didn't publish the article about Mavis because she died before he was able to publish it. So I don't think that the Countess is reading his articles and then killing these people. They have to know each other somehow. He lied about not not knowing the Countess. He definitely knows. So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the C Sharps. Then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh, I don't know, tell me what those reasons are? I can't do that. Of course he can't. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not going to say any more. That woman's his sister. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Who was... I told About Isaac Brown. I told you. Are you sure? No, I... So tell me... I... Tell me... Yeah, I hope you're my friend. All right, so he must have, um... I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, uh, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I have written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them, as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell, Isaac didn't just die. He was murdered. Duh. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody will hear the story? All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. I don't know about that shit, idiot. I don't know about that shit. That sounds like a little bull honky. Who was- I told- About I- I, t I think that's all- Alright, you have a good- He knows something about this countess woman. And he's not publishing these articles of people because before he can get the article out, they get murdered. Strangled to death in their own homes. I don't- well, let's just take the fact that it's his sister back to this guy and be like, So what about his sister? Cecil? What? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You? That's it! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Why is that? Contempt. What are you gonna do, throw me out? Oh, is that a challenge? Don't tempt me, lady. Leave. I'll leave, but I'll be back. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. I'm back. Look what the cat dragged in. That's me. I'm like a bad penny. Look. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. I'm full of it. Okay, this is me. Well, that certainly worked wonders. We'll have to change our tactics if we want to get him to talk. Let's try apologizing. Look what the ca- Yep, it's me. I'm like a bad Hello. penny. Cecil. Look, obviously something's wrong. Why don't you try talking about it? What is this? Some kind of psychotherapy? You here to get me to open up about I'm my feelings? I'm purposely picking the ones I don't I'm think I'm here for work. Isaac. He's not worth it. And neither are you. Just get out of here. Okay. The rudeness jumps me, out. Leaving you alone. Ever think of moonlighting in PR? You're so good at talking to people. 
Seriously, whatever you're doing, you can't handle it this way. You just don't give up, do you? I really don't. That's kind of my thing. Me. I'm like a bad penny. Look, Buster, I've had it up to here with this. I need information, it's stuck in your head, and I plan on getting it out. Less talk and more get the hell out. I'll leave, but I'll be- Okay, it's gotta be the importance. If not, then there's Stop something it. I'm missing. As soon as Piano Boy sees you, he gets all bent out of shape. You won't get anywhere. Look, what the- You up for talking like a civilized human being? You're upset. I didn't want to upset you. I'm upset. Yeah, great observation. If you're so concerned, why don't you- That would make me- f I'll leave. I just want to try all the options, just because I'm you're curious. Hopeless, you know that? A yeah. shame I can't talk to him. I know his type. Look what the kid. You up for talking? I really need to know about Isaac's sister. It's very important. Yeah, well, we all have problems. And my problem is you. So leave. I'll leave. Okay, that one wasn't it. Darling, dear, you obviously can't handle this on your own. Maybe I can be of use? I know it wants me to switch to him, but well, I just like trying and failing. <laughs> I think it's funny. Hello, Cecil. Hi, Cecil. You want to forget the past, you say? Yeah. Then what's with the picture behind you? If you wanted to forget the past, why'd you keep the picture? I have my reasons. He likes the leave sister. It alone. Just leave me alone. You want me to leave? I'll leave. Darling, dear, maybe. I know it's trying to get me to switch to him, but I want to try all the efforts. <laughs> I mean, I just Hello, think it's funny. Cecil. I just... Shut it! Just Ooh. leave, why don't you? You want me to leave? Darling, maybe. Okay. Joey? What do you think we're going to do, baby? We're gonna fuck with the piano How like I, I wanted to, to do to earlier. Facts. My pia hmm. so. Can I like haunt the table? This joint doesn't draw much. Just some sheep, nothing special. Nothing's changed since the last time. I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. I know that it only go easy on him. I think I know only go easy on him. Look what the cat. We need to talk. You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have damn you woman damn you i just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed she why don't dead? you just leave me alone so what happened see it's very important that you tell me all right all right i don't know who you are or why you're so interested but you're never gonna leave me alone are you no i won't you were in a band together right yeah we had a band smart girl then she died then he died end of story how did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy. Such life. Such a waste. How'd she die? What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Hmm. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. That's she tropical. got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Mm. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. Type she out. hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. I don't think people... D I mean, people do die of broken hearts, but I don't think she just, like, died because she couldn't Anything sing. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. About I told you everything. Please, just stop. Why didn't you tell her? What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. 
But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Oh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. Mm. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but let's face it. He was a big, dumb embarrassment. How so you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a bum. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island. Mm. till he got killed by some drifter. Mm. You don't know who killed Isaac? Yes, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death. But I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. Mm. Oh, he feels like he failed Sarah. Can you tell me anything else about Isaac? No, I've told you everything. Can you tell- No. I don't suppose- This is the v- you She called- Sorry. About- I know nothing else- Southern. Just- About- I totally- See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah, a duet at the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. Isaac loved that silly song. That's they never let us. me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh, well. What was the song? Cecil. What? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. Went something like... I need to record that with my recording device. After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think... I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and... Well... In his heart, he refused to believe she was dead. That is so sad. See you later. Yeah. Alright, let me get my recorder out. I don't know if she's put together that we need to do that, but I've put together that we need to do that. Why would I want to record that? Why would I want- why would I- Because you need- Why would I- I don't think he wants to talk. Somebody has already played- Cecil? What? Could you play that- Yeah, sure. Why not? I think I've recorded enough. Nice. Well, I don't know much about pianos, but it seems nice enough. Let's head out to free this spirit. Because if Sarah plays him out... Oh my god, this is sad. The people who write this game really know what they're doing. <sighs> this is a little record I've been using. Oh, I can't just play. I gotta talk to him. This is a little... I've been...
Is that you, sis? No. I've been waiting for so long. I know, honey. Yes, Isaac. It's me, your sister. Sarah? Yep. Sarah, what happened? You've turned white. <laughs> um... You're not my sis. No, I'm not. No, you couldn't be, could you? My sis is dead, isn't she? Yeah. Now I'm dead, too. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. Hi, Isaac. Hey, this is it, huh? Oh, yeah, eternity, the white light, the passage into the next world. There's something, all right? I still can't believe I'm dead. Crazy old lady, she killed me. Old lady? Well, he says she wanted to go to big woods and chokes me. Why'd she want to go and do a thing like that? I'm sorry, I wish I knew. I don't think it matters anyway. It's time I join my sis. Just head into the light. Thanks, honey. You've been real kind. And uh, tell your friends sorry for the crap over here. <laughs> right. Another day, another spirit gone to their rest. Hmm. Rest. Well, that's a nice word. You all right? Yeah, fine. I'm exhausted. Call it a night? Sounds good to me. You? Like clockwork. You saved him? Yes. Yeah. Stop sure killing people. No thanks to you. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them. I'm like you. You're nothing like us. We don't kill. I help spirits into the next world. Like you. You mean you're a medium? Yes. But you can't be. I am like you. Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? I save people. I don't hurt them! Get back here! Stupid old hag! Let's get after her. She's too spry. God damn it. Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there. <laughs> so, she can see ghosts. We knew that, because she can see Joey. What I don't... I don't know. I don't understand this woman. Skip to Joey. She's not gonna do anything until she's done smoking. Not much I can... I have no interest in that thing. Tackiest thing I ever saw. That thing is dead... Well... Another ashtray. What a surprise. Oh, look. It's the couch. Every night I get to watch her snore on that thing. The local rag. Just another one of the many... It's her phone book. It's her phone. Oh, look. The jar is empty now. Just an old doormat. It's covered in cigarette burns. We gotta get new cases. And stop the Countess from murdering people. Feeling better? I'm so confused, Joey. Me too. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it it's out. It's your mom! Well, let's chat for a while. Brainstorm a bit. Maybe we'll come up with something. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Why is she so insistent that... Uh, she Why would a medium, medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. She did say she helped people, 
saved them. By killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people. But they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks otherwise. Maybe. Is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I... I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. That was sweet. Oh, that was like an actual sincere moment. That's the only sincere thing Joey's ever said since he's been dead. Aww. <laughs> Why am I like actually touched? <laughs> That's sweet. If she's a medium, where is her spirit guide? You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the spirit world. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. Is it possible to be a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide. That's how it works. Hmm. What could have happened to her spirit guide? I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that killed. possible? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. The, the Countess connects these two cases. There has to be something or someone the else reporter. that has the same connection. Joseph Mitchell? Bingo. The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got the power, but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? We help spirits into the next world. Exactly. A medium needs a guide. He's her guide. Hers is gone. Somehow Mitchell fills in the gap. Our Countess is being told through Mitchell's writing to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean... How is he? I think you get the picture. Oh God, that's sick. It makes sense though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. But he... He's definitely heard of the Countess, because he had a weird reaction to it. Like, that's not... Hey, I got something to say. Yeah, Joey? So, are we gonna futz or We got... Yeah. I think... Our you think... Have I ever... No, you haven't. There you go. That old lady. There's something about her. Well, she has killed someone. Yeah, but it's more than... If she was just an or... We just... Got any... Not you. Lucky... Yeah. I don't see what one. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. I love this music. Yes. Miss Blackwell. Mm -hmm. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. No, you weren't. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, do have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually. Thanks. Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. You're a cat. Is there a cat outside? <laughs> I hear a cat. <laughs> I hear a cat.
I guess apparently one of my neighbors just has a really loud cat because I can hear it. It's across the street, I, or across the hallway, I think. I'm gonna get some water since I'm already standing. sounded like it was in the hallway like it sounded like it was running up and down the hallway but I guess not you finished your writing for the day Mr. Mitchell yes yes I have and now I'm going home he's full of hot air the page is blank you haven't written anything today have you why do you say that the paper is blank what how do you know that I have exceptional eyesight there's dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Now, if you'll excuse me. No, I won't. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell, if something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying, so to speak. You aren't a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. Well, make me understand You'd be surprised it. at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. You would Try be. Me. Who are you, anyway? You come in out of the blue. And bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that? Can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story, and that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably, so you're not sure? No. Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but I prefer if you left well enough alone. No. Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in the bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown, you know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. And then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row! No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. No, it wouldn't- well, I mean, I see where he's coming from. <laughs> it wouldn't be murder, per se. It would be... bad, I guess. But I don't know about murder. I... I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write. So, I don't write. The problem's solved. Don't you want to write again? Oh, yes. But people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try handed fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. 
Don't you want to help? There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh? And tell them what? All those deaths? All killed the same way? So soon after you met them? I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean... Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh. Is that all? But... Quiet. Right. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father... You getting this stuff down? Hey! Welcome, welcome. Well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. So, I don't know if you caught that cutscene, but there's murder happening, and it's great. I think I'm nearing the end of this game. I don't know if I'll get to it tonight, though. Hello. Welcome. You came in right at the tail end of a very good cutscene. I don't know how much of it you managed to catch, but we might get murdered. That's fine. Um... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this was a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. Yeah, I play a lot of mysteries. <laughs> I play a lot of murder mysteries. I don't know, they're fun. The long story short is, we're a spirit medium, we're helping spirits cross over to the other side by solving their murders. And there's a woman who's going around who's also a medium, but doesn't have a spirit guide. This is my spirit guide, Joey. She's supposed to have one, she doesn't have one. She's instead killing people this reporter writes about, and we're trying to figure out how, why, who, what, when, where, that sort of thing. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. So, any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me. So, I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand? You're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. Alright. I'll just... leave you to it. Yeah. There was one more! There was one more te- I want to talk more! No, don't go anywhere! She's Stop. here. So <laughs> polite of her to knock. Like, dead ass, she's here? Let's you and me have a little talk. Yeah, Joey? So, are we gonna futz around? We got stuff. Yeah. She's here! She's here! Oh god, are we gonna die? All She's right. here! Yeah. I don't remember. This is a prequel. This is a sequel slash prequel. This is her bed. She can lie in it. And so I don't remember how this character dies. So this this could be it right here. I'm convinced that this old lady is her mom. I'm convinced. That's why she doesn't have a guide, because I have our guide. I... I know you. Yes, you know me. Come in. How is she getting the things he I'm writes? I'm watching you. So... What's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. Who are you? I am the, the Countess. Countess. Yeah, what's your name? 
Do you have a god? A spirit god? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? What if it was her mother? Her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes. She snapped my mind. She went away and my world expanded. What is that? I see everything. Everything. It hurts. I guess if her spirit guide crossed over, then she's connected to the, like, the other, like, heaven or whatever, and it's fucking her up. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yes. Yes. The non-guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. How? Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice, but tonight I heard told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice, but he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you. You know, sane. Joey. I was happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Will I become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. Girl, you need a lot of help. Need to be free. I'm good. I. Hey. Hey. Do I need to? Do Joey, damn it! I can't do anything. Fight her, Lord. Fight back. How do I? What do I do? Do I, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I need to like burn her. Oh, my lit cigarette. How do I? Where is it? This burner, 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 burner. All right, that's what happened. Why did I pass out? Oh, I guess I probably ran Stay out of away from her. No, she needs my help. Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? No. You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. Joey? I... Wait. I'm supposed to help her. Oh, my head. What do I do? I'm waiting. I'll save you. No. The connection is gone. I cannot save you, but I can still save her. Hey. I said, hey, I need help. I'm in pain. What are you going to do about it? I can help you. I... The bond. It's gone. I can't What do I do? Her. There is still time to save her. Hey. Your type hey, of save is not what we if want If anyone here. needs saving, it's me. You need to be saved? I can't... Like... What? What? I can't swap to Lauren, she's unconscious. I c She's confused, in pain, and very, very insane. For the first time, I'm glad I'm already dead. What do I do to Past you? your prime, I don't think you can handle it. You. I, I can't save you. The guide. She's just gonna keep doing that. I gotta figure out what I'm supposed to do. No, you don't. You leave her alone. It's me you want. I do? Yes. Yeah. Where am I going? Why am I going backwards? Come out here. Can I make you Why do you move 
so far. You don't need help. Huh. Nope, nope, she nope. That's the opposite of what I need to do. Hey. I need help. Help? Yeah, please. Begging ya. Come on then, make with the same. Come over here. You need me? Come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Hey! Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. If he passes on, she's gonna- then Lauren's gonna end up like this lady, and we can't have that. Oh, he's gonna shove her off the balcony? You're Wait, so no, he can't talk helping. to her. Let's see you help me. I will set you free. What's he gonna do? What are they gonna do when they get on the balcony? Oh, woe is me. I'm in so much torment. Save me, He Daniel. can't touch her. Are you hurting? Yes. What are you waiting for? Come on. Maybe if he gets oh, run away, she'll just walk off. I will help you. Well, come on. What are you waiting she for? She can't see. You're right. I, I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? Uh, jo Joey? Alright, Elle. I don't know what to do at all. Call the police, maybe? How about you just... I'm sorry. <gasps> She's gonna push her? No! I can't look, is she? Yeah. There's no... No ghost. She's gone. Gone. Oh, that I was killed her. So messed up. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if, what if that's me one day, huh? What if I'm old and confused and alone? You Joey? won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? Isn't it? Tell him it's something. Yeah, it's something. That's the end of the game. Okay, no, it's not. Wait, this maybe... This is a bad idea. She's gonna call Jack! You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi. Jack? Lauren. Sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. He has How's a daughter. Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. Aww. When the sun sits quietly on the sea. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Well, I'm sad. <laughs> that was really poignant, <laughs> moving. Every single ghost I felt really upset about. <laughs> McCormick, that's not how I've ever seen that spelled. Danny Marco, excellent job. You did a good, like, grainy detective. That's not the face I would have put with Joey Malone, but I'll take it. Oh. I didn't realize they were voice by Simper. Wow. Sam. Small team. Lots of doubling up. Jack and Joseph. This music is really good. Oh, that she voiced the, the operators. Okay. Or they voiced the operators. Man, this is a good series. Special thanks to viewers like you. Thank you. Turn around to see that you hey, that's my name. Was 
nothing else but me That's when <laughs> And coffee, as always. Yes, yes, coffee got us through. <sighs> Ding. Wadget Eye Games. Wadget, if you're listening, make more of these. I mean, there are like five more. Special activation code. For what? Realogy? Realogy, for what? <laughs> I didn't expect to get stats! I got a photo! No, I didn't! It says locked! I didn't get any of the photos! Do I- is the only thing I can do is just delete the game? Save it? I can't do anything? I can't c connect the points because- no, There's no connection <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Move. Oh, it just quit the whole game! Wow, I was not expecting that. Hold on. Put it back on the screen. I want to look at it. <laughs> that was really... I think that was a little bit shorter than the first game. I guess it being a prequel makes sense. Joey had a lot more, like... I haven't... I didn't, I've played the first game, but I didn't play it on stream. So... I'm p bringing this, like, from my memory. He was not as, like... He had a lot more, like, genuine moments in this game. Wow. Can I not look at the extras? I thought there were extras. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I didn't get any of them. Finish the game in commentary mode. Make an unusual phone call. Floating head Easter egg. Didn't get that. Smoke less than 20 cigarettes by the end of the game. I don't- I didn't control how many cigarettes she's- she's- Get hit by the saxophone only once. I don't know about that one. Well, I might visit these on my own time and get the, uh, those achievements, but plot-wise, we got everything. That was really exciting. I don't know. Who's still with me? Who watched that beauty of a uh, closing sequence? But damn, that was really kind of touching. And like Joey being there for her and being like, being like, I'm not gonna let that happen to you. I'm here with you. Isn't that something? Like I can't speak for the future. Blah blah blah. blah. That makes me want to go back and play the first one and see what they have to say about the aunt, because she's the aunt of the protagonist of Blackwell Legacy, and when she dies, Joey moves on to the niece. So. She obviously must die at the beginning of that in order for her to inherit the ghost. And she's the daughter of Jack. I think it's only the women who get it. I'm not sure. She said she said that he might go to Jack, but I think I think that by the time she dies, he would go to the niece. I think it's only the women in the family. I want to I feel like there's more to understand about why that guy was that woman's connection to the spirit world when he's not a ghost or why that woman's uh What was the, what they call it? Guide, like how she moved on, without. That doesn't make any sense. And then fucking Lauren murdered someone. How did that woman strangle people with her bare hands? That's upsetting. All right. Well, thank you for hanging in there with me. This was a lot of fun. Normally, when I um play a game I finish it on Wednesday so I'm not sure if I'll go live Wednesday since we finished this this time and we made good time it hasn't even been four hours it's three and a half uh and that's including you know a donut break and uh is there a cat outside break yeah so I guess whoops I should have quit that not minimized it sorry this game has a little bit of weird settings where I can't have it open uh I can't have it open in a window it'll only open full screen so i couldn't like keep the music playing despite the fact that it was really lovely music um but thank you for tuning in thank you for that raid um this one was a lot of fun that is a good game series i really like mysteries and i really like 
ghosts. <laughs> so that's a good, you know, good one for me. If I had a nickel for every game series I played that was like a grungy 40s style detective, uh, I'd have two nickels. And I don't mean the two Blackwell games I've played. <laughs> I've played, you can played Murdered Soul Suspect and I quit at one, one of the parts was hard and I stopped playing. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow because I normally, um, finish the game I'm playing. Maybe I'll come back with Stardew Valley. I've actually been wanting to play some Stardew Valley since I streamed it last week. I don't know. Not a promise, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm done. I'm, I'm not used to streaming less than four hours. I'm confused. I don't understand when games aren't too hard for my little baby brain. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'll put the VOD up on YouTube at some point. There's a link in my bio or my about. I don't know what it's called on Twitch. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate it.